stuff to begin. Right, should be fine. Should be good to just do new game this time because there's no intro level. I'm not sure which will be faster in this game. Probably, probably really negligible anyway. settings that should be fine now I'll put it louder a bit <laughs> that should be yeah that, that's good that's good okay so hopefully this goes well Okay, it's a triangle. I keep thinking I can press uh, start to skip the cutscenes. <laughs> so yeah, I've never speedrun this uh, game before, so hopefully this goes well. And this is the PAL version, so... Yeah, nice. There's a number of random differences. The main thing is that there aren't nearly as many... No, let's just restart this. <laughs> there aren't nearly as many Aku Aku masks. Um, like, I had to... Yeah, cool. Cool story, bro. Um, I had to look up a full Crash Free PAL speedrun just to write down how many masks are in each stage. And... The time trials also have different amounts as well compared to regular stages. Um, so I had to, so I had to put write them all down, um, put in this right in the splits what would be the best, in my opinion, the uh, the best um, order of stages to play through, provided I don't mess up. Um, and also you can keep your masks after time trials in this game, so there's that too. Yeah, we'll s yeah um, we'll see how this goes. It's uh, also different than Crash, Crash 2 OG in the sense that you can't neutral slide spin anymore. You need to do neutral slide jumps if you want to get, want to do like speed strats. So that's it's a bit different in that way. In that way too. So yeah, this game requires a lot of clever routing to get right for a speed run. So, oh, okay, that doesn't work. Damn it, dude. It's okay, it's fine, I'm learning. <laughs> so don't- I can't do the insane trilogy strat where I can just jump that. But yeah, as you'll see, probably very quickly by me doing this. Can't hit boxes. Um, masks are very stingy in this version of the game, um, to the point where most stages don't even have masks. Uh, most of the stages in the game only have one, or just none. Um, and like, there's only a select few that have like more than that. It gets a bit different when you go into time trials, though, because those have a lot more than the regular stage. So. Good 
going a bit slow on this, but you know, still. Ah, oh, okay. There's a trick here where if you um, y you can jump on the on, on the top of that roof and jump over here and skip that whole section because you're you're basically just um, jumping so far that you just land into the portal. But I can't do that, unfortunately. And uh, since this is 105%, I'm gonna have to get all the uh, gold relics. This is important that I don't get hit in this, because otherwise this screws up the next stage. Yeah, uh, th the other thing about the difference between this and Crash 2 is that masks are actually useful. Um, in, yeah, in Crash 2, the uh, invincibility makes the neutral slide spin trick not really work. Damn it. Um, and like you just slow down a lot more, whereas in this game it makes the it makes go it makes what what is it invincibility is like a lot faster than normal movement, so you do want to get that as much as you can, which makes routing this game extremely important. You can't just do whatever and hope and hope it works. Yeah, this uh, took a lot of uh, planning before I actually started doing this. Just make sure I had the right, a good level list going on. I mean, the time, our time for these stages, for the time trials, doesn't matter too much. We just need to make sure we get a goal, because um, we're g looking for ov like overall time, not level time. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. I, I'm getting the right idea there, but I just, I'm dropping off of it, which is unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Okay. See, I don't know if this is the best. I know I'm almost positive that this isn't the ideal, like, level list um, to go with, but it's uh, what I came up with, so hopefully it works fine. Okay, now we can get invincibility. Yeah, and this makes us just go way faster with the slide neutral slide jump. It's not easy to keep it up though. I might have to save every occasionally as well because my copy of the game has been known to freeze sometimes so yeah just keep that in mind. Sometimes it's okay for me to get get take a hit, but most of the time I don't want to have that happen. Like, uh, what is it? Crash 2, sin again, since you don't need masks, it's a lot more forgiving that in terms of like, you're allowed to make a lot of mistakes because of that. Whereas in this game, if you want to have, like, the best time, you almost never want to get hit, which makes this, 
like... I'd say both of these games, speed run wise, are challenging for different reasons, but yeah, it definitely, definitely makes you uh, have to play a bit more carefully. And you also have to keep in mind that time trials remove your masks as well, so you also have to consider that. Yeah, so what that goes into this. Oh, good. Okay. I thought I got hit there. Yeah, it'll be very interesting when we, when we get to the later levels. See how that goes. can play the jet ski when it's not like when it's not neutered by weird controls thanks NS2 I've grown more used to the NST's jet ski physics over time but it just can't compare to the, the original like there's just such a thrill to how the original game's jet ski controls you just the, the the remake just can't can't top this. It's nowhere close. And the waves just make it so much like it feels so much faster, especially when you go over like waves and stuff. Like Yeah. And also you have sharp turning. Which isn't an insane at all. <laughs> it's not a very well known feature. You'd have to like hold down on the analog stick or d-pad. But yeah. Thanks for the bomb. Or an, I don't know. I don't know if it's like if the bomb if it, it's based on RNG like where the bombs will be but I know that well I know they like move in a certain pattern but like Sometimes they're in a way, oh, good. They, they're in a way, other times they're not, I guess it depends how fast you're going. Yeah, these levels are just a throw ride on the original. Nice. Very nice. Good. I can't even button. <laughs> yep, yep. I always looked at, I always thought that it looked like there was a face in the middle of that warp portal thing. Yeah, just a look how fast you can go. It's a 
amazing. That's fine. I'm gonna get masks and under pressure anyway. It'd be great if we get a platinum in this, but I kinda doubt it. Especially since the times are more strict in this version. So there's that too. <laughs> especially yeah, especially compared to uh, NS2. It's different compared to uh, NTSC as well, I believe. Yeah, boy, boy. Okay, I... I know you can get the uh, gem and the relic at the same time if you're good enough, but I'm not going to chance that. So I'll just play this how I normally do. I might be able to do that with enough practice, but not today. Okay. I'm surprised that guy didn't attack me. Get into the thing. Also, apparently if you turn all the sound effects off, um, the cutscenes won't play, because, like, the sound effects also includes voices as well, so since there's no, there's gonna be no voices playing, it just doesn't bother loading the cutscenes, but I like my sound effects on, so that's why I didn't do that. Make this. Eh. Good enough. Also, this controls much better on this version as well. It's so stiff in the remake. I don't mean to keep hopping on Insane, but there's there are some things that it just the original just does so much better. Okay, good. And then under pressure too. Okay, I I don't want to get hit in this. I need the masks once again. masks in this, so... Good. As long as I don't hit, hit, get hit again, we should be fine. Okay, I need to keep this mask. This mask. I'm over. Nah, nah, it's not worth it. No, I need that. Thank you. 
No. Oh my god. Okay. I need to uh, stay cool. This is the. This is only. Yeah, there's only one box in Boneyard. Oh, one box. There's only one Accu Freight. Damn it, dude. Yeah, restart. This is not gonna be good. It might be a better idea to do at this stage earlier in the run because oh good now I'm just I now I just can't play the game <laughs> like maybe the first stage the first stage I do this uh, because this is oh okay that was just my bad. Exactly an easy first stage for a, for a speed run in the in these one well, for like this setup. And these mines don't help. It's not a great run so far. I just got to say. It's fine. Gotta learn. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be able to do this while getting the gem, there's no way. Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's- Wait, what? That's not fine. Damn it, dude! I think I just should start- restart the run. Damn it. Still in the first warp room. So, yeah. Damn it, man. This ain't going great. <laughs> Cash Banuka wrapped. Press start to begin. Okay, again, from the top. <laughs> Can we please get out of the first warp room? <laughs> oh my god. That w that run was going pretty poorly anyway. The stage has no masks. I this is this is one stage where like it's the same on all versions, and there's no masks 
in this stage no matter what. Outside of the time child, obviously, so that's kind of weird. Considering it's like the third stage. Good. So that's kind of weird. Oh my god. Yeah, that is surprisingly tight. This might be tougher than I expected. The fact that we've restarted like twice now is not great. <laughs> We're early in we're early in the game, so I like if I'm gonna mess up here, it's best to just restart because we're like we have we've barely done anything. Still sucks though. Okay. Good. Oh wait, I can do this, right? Yes! Strats are coming back to me. I do like... Jump from here, okay. Oh! Oh my god, look at that! Come on! That could have been cool. I almost had it. Oh well. No, not, not under pressure just yet. Yeah, this makes you way faster. It's insane. It's so hard to keep that consistent, man. I can see it's interesting being in the shoes of a speedrunner now because like, you get so nitpicky on everything you're doing. Let's say, like, oh, I, I could have done that better, I could have done this better. It's like, man.
Ah. Yeah, because if you mess it up, you just jump in the air like an in the like an idiot and just waste time. Okay. I thought that was worse than before. Can we? Yeah. Okay. Making waves are not worried about. It's mainly just under pressure that's just like screwing this up right now. No idea if the ramp's faster or not. Oh my god. Oh wait, I I am a complete idiot. I've completely forgot to uh go into chat while doing this. I <laughs> I am so stupid. Okay. That's fine. Uh Give me the box, cuz. Thank you. It's fine. Oh, uh, Dr. Antonio, thanks for the follow. Hello there. Hello there. Okay. How you doing? fine that's good to hear um i've already restarted this run like twice already so <laughs> yeah a little bit um i'm pro i don't think i'm gonna be speed running anything else for a while after after this game but uh i don't know i don't know i don't know how many runs of this game i'm gonna do before i stop but we'll see He's more zigzagging. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not by any means like a professional runner, but yeah, I know I know about zigzagging. I know you can like do some crazy stuff where like if you zigzag enough, you can just you're not a speed runner at all. Fair enough. Uh, like what is it? You zigzag around and you can like do some weird glitchy stuff. <gasps> it's just amazing. It's also like frame perfect, though, from what I understand. Oh yeah, I, I love watching speed runs, um, and I I've done a few of that, like a few games, but I'm not by any means professional level. 
I'm just kind of seeing, uh, like, there's like select few games. I mean, that's that's fair. Um, there are select few games that I'm pretty good at just going through, through them quickly, and uh, if I try doing some runs, this game being one of them. It's just one of Yeah, I guess I guess so. I'm just trying to be be careful. Yeah, I'm just I just want to get um golds. I uh, like gold is good enough for me. Also, what the heck is happening here? <laughs> No, I, I I know what you I know what you mean. <laughs> what what what? Who means? Hi, silly goose attacker. Hey, who are you talking? Who are you talking to? Doctor Antonio. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I randomly had self on mind. Oh, I mean self might come in. I don't know. So how you doing? I I got back from work a few hours ago. Oh, I'm doing okay. I had to restart this like twice already, but that's yeah. Alright, I played a bit more of Dread this morning before work. Did the Jason get, uh, spooked again? Um, more tense and spooked. <laughs> like, once you get, you, you get used to the enemies eventually, but they're still obviously a, bi a, a big, a big, a threatening presence. Right. Uh, Rob told me he's also been playing, and he says the, 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 en the enemies to him are, are a mix of frustration and tense. He says in front, he's ahead of me for the rest. <gasps> Damn it, um, oh, dude. Yeah, he says he's ahead of me, but he, what, what he means by frustration is sometimes the Emmys can just oh, because there's okay, there's zones where the Emmys are, right? Yes. The game makes it pretty clear pretty early on, so. <laughs> I, I, but um. I think I heard about that anyway. Yeah, and but the thing is, um, when you enter the room, the M in the areas, the Emmys are technically spawning at a random spot in there. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, this is how it works. So, and, and so, like, sometimes the enemies can be in a really inconvenient spot. So you have to just kind I'm of like, adapt to what, where they are. Yeah, you, you could also theoretically just leave the room and come back in. Mm. But, like, I'm only, I, I only leave yeah. the room as an escape method, really, as, like, if I just need to collect myself. Yeah. Well, so what is a uh, bingo saying? Huh? Not the chat. Someone uh, ch telling me to play uh, Bingo Sand. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, oh, also, the, the, the latest power I got was the various suit. Nice. So, you know, no more heat for me! <laughs> take, rather, take that, Adam. <laughs> Well, it, it, well, we are at, well, we are at, well, this is like after fusion, so we do no, have Adam. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can make cust custom games with objectives for pretty much any game. I, huh, I, I've never heard of this, so I had to look that up. I'm being very vague. I'm trying to be as vague as possible for the record for anybody who's listening. <laughs> right. I know people want to go in the... Yeah, Dread, uh, Dread is yeah. like, Dread came out like a couple of days ago, so... No, not even. Yesterday. <laughs> right. I didn't and see people, a few videos. People are already close. be in it. <laughs> what was that, uh, uh, Harry? No, I was saying that uh, people have already be in it. <laughs> well, yeah, it's Metroid game. They're short. Yeah. I think, um, I think, in fact, I think how long to beat put, even puts that at seven hours at most. <laughs> yeah. But that's probably because it's the current register time, but then I can honestly imagine people are shaving off lots of time already. Yeah, I find that there's a lot of sequence breaking you can do. Well, that's that's a good that's a sign of a good Metroid. <laughs> yeah. Where 
where you, you know, because like that's one of the that's one of the appealing things about uh, like uh, especially one of the more non-linear ones. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. Speaking of which, I don't know how non-linear dread is, but like from what I'm guessing early on, it feels like um it's doing a bit better. It's do it's basically doing what fusion does in terms of linearity, but a bit more open, I guess. Right. Because it's like it's a big, because like it feels like you have to take, um. Okay, okay. What's the best way to put it? You have to get your powers back, right? Obviously. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay. But it feels. And it, Go. So it's just like, but like it also. Uh, okay. First of all, early in the game, your objective is is actually to get back to your ship. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're you're. It, it feels like you're just trying to escape. Okay. Uh, for crash. Wait, what? What's this? It feels frightening. <laughs> you know? You can make... Oh, is it like a setup thing? Uh, okay. Uh, for Crash 3, for example, take X amount of gems relics. Get the relic from X level. Get... Wait, what? I think he's being like, because like certain one... things are like... Get one like gem certain... from each warp room, etc. Okay. He's hmm. having flack for yourself, I guess. Interesting. Also, also the reason I panic, panic there... Also, it's not over yet. I need to uh, make sure I don't get hit in this section. Because I need the invincibility. Um, okay, I'm just finishing my thought for quickly. Um, it feels like you do need the powers just to advance. Like, because well, obviously early games, there's not much you can do, and you just kind of have to go by the, the path that, that it's probably intended for you to go. Does that right. make sense? Yeah, I get it. But like, um, I wonder like, what's the point where you'll have enough to be able to go do whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause like, you're only told that the navigation rooms, like, like in Fusion. But like, it's a big end, but, but finding these rooms a bit, is a bit more sporadic, I guess. Mm. Cause it's like, it's cause in Fusion, you get your, you basically are told where to go right in the beginning of the area. Right. Here it's like you. Here you're just in there, and you gotta find a spot to communicate back to back to Adam. Right. The main uh, problem I see with uh, fusion is the fact that you can't really go for all the items until post game. So there's a. You just. Oh, got... That's a bit. Well, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Because it's like, like when the game is just like, hey, end the game. No. <laughs> yeah. You, at the end of the game, and like, yeah. If you are going for 100%, you have to do like a massive. A, ba a massive turn, essentially. <laughs> yeah, which I. I feel like that might annoy me a little bit. Well, um. If it helps, um, I don't. Um, I honestly. Unless you're incredibly dedicated, I don't completely recommend 100%ing it, anyways. Well, that's not how I play games. Well, Metroid. I, I, that's not how I'd want to play the game. No, that's fair enough. Especially since 100 percent at NES Metroid, so there you go. For me, like, uh, I feel I feel satisfied enough having over. If I can get, if I feel like if I can get at least 90 percent or so, I feel in in terms of Metroid because it's because it's hard have a hard time finding shit anyways without like yeah yeah using because like I I'm trying to see how much I can find on my own without a guide. Yeah, yeah. Then finish and finish the game with that. And plus, you're not gonna know what your completion rate is exactly until you're done, anyways. Well, yeah. well in, in certain games, but you get what I mean. I guess. But That's I mean, because like... like I think my run of uh, my very first run of Zero Mission, I think I ended at ninety four percent, which I think was mm. that's satisfying enough for me. Right. Yeah, I can get that. I I I just had had have like a. Uh thing on hand telling me like how many items are in an area and I kind of just keep track of it. Oh wait, you're using like a, you're using like a, a like a guy, like a, like a guy beside you? Um, kind of, it's more loose, but I do want to make sure I get everything. But did you do something even on your first go? Yeah, I did, I, I only play, I, I got everything on NES Metroid uh, on my first go. No, 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 that's not what I mean, with that loose guide, I mean. Uh, okay, I entered the area. Let me see how many things are here. <laughs> um, 
Because like I feel like it's your, I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that on a first run. I I don't remember exactly exactly how I did it, but no tiny glitch. Oh, are you talking about when when you go to the top left? I yeah, I know about the glitch, but it's it's fine. I just feel like it. Like try to find as much shit as you can, but don't worry if you can't find everything. Um... That's how that's how I play it. Oh, I think I think. I think what I, what I did is um, I just I just looked up how many items were like in the game in general, and I tried my uh, best to. F okay, I have there's 175 missiles total you could have. Something like that. I I did that, um, and I tried my best to like get all the stuff on like on my own, um, but like it when I got to like the very end where it's just a bunch of random missiles scattered around. Um, I just, that's when I just looked them up, because I, I, I was just done with the game at that point. Mm. I don't want to do that in the other games, but NES Metroid is kind of like, eh, so whatever. So like, when you do like, Super and all that, are you just gonna go for it? Probably. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm, I might end up like, drawing my own map of the, of the world, and just, just so I remember what I have and haven't done. I'll give, well, uh, to give most Metroid games credit, um, usually, like, if you at least see an item or if, like, there's one at least in the room, they'll usually mark the map for you, at least. Like, it, it usually was, like, missiles, I mean, but still. Right. That helps. Yeah. It's just that knowing when you have, when you're a raid, like, when you have the right thing to, to go get it with, I guess. Yeah. I, I just, yeah. For me, I just... I just want to get everything, because like, a game like Metroid, it just feels like a game, like, it, it's just begging me to fully complete. Like, I even complete, like, did everything in other M, so... I guess part of my reason, reason why I'm like that is because, like... Maybe it's because, like, most of these areas are usually so big. It feels like I'm. It feels like I'm just wandering. It feels like I'm just really just wandering at that point. Does that make sense? No, I I, I get the mindset. Yeah. Like um, was a was a good comparison for me. Um, let's say I'm just like playing Breath of the Wild or something, and I just and I know this game is a very different completely. Kind yeah, of game. yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> but but you hear me out, anyways. When I'm like I'm trying to find the next shrine or something, I'm just literally just running around. It doesn't feel like nothing. It feels like nothing's happening. Yeah, I get it. I feel like... I mean, I don't mean... I mean, those are troves, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't... Like, this this way. Me in the way. Gotta get over the mountain. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I, I get it. Um, I I feel like I'm just... Uh, I, I don't want to sound mean, but I, I feel like I'm also just inherently more patient than you. <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, I, I, I'm obviously I'm gonna try to get everything, but yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah. but I'm not making it. Met, for some reason, for Metroid, for me, it's not that big of a deal if I don't. <laughs> yeah, I can get it. it. For me, it just depends on the I game. I want to be as strong as possible, but for me, it doesn't matter if I'm the strongest possible. That, does that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a lot of stirring, you're right. Oh, it kind of reminds me how in Zero Mission, the the. The final final boss actually is like ridiculously overpowered if you have literally everything. <laughs> um, okay, let me see her. Uh, you can like because you get stronger based on your item completion. <laughs> you can let Tiny land on you when he does the trident uh, thing as long as you're spinning. Okay, so that just negates his attack. Interesting. Well, I guess, like damage boost through, like let's sort of, like hit through like um. Uh, his like tiny? stab, stabby stab, I guess. Talk about Tiny, right? Yeah, Tiny. I, I mean, I get, if I do enough a run, I'll try that, but I, I don't, <laughs> I don't think about doing something like that, because that sounds dangerous. I, that reminds me, one of my favorite things they did in the NSYNC trilogy is like, you know how there's like a blind spot for this boss fight? Oh, you get cheesed. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, that's brilliant. Yeah. And they push you in by doing, and by, do, by doing that, and you're like, no, you do it. <laughs> yeah. That's absolute genius. Yeah. 
Because I think the blind spot works otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Like, nice try, asshole. <laughs> <sighs> I like you can use a spin to uh, stop your best off bouncing. You haven't played Fusion yet, right? Uh, I haven't played most of the games. Ah, uh, alright. Um, one thing I enjoy about Fusion is that um, the boss fight it actually uses the power you're going to get from them. Right. It's really not just spin at the right time signs when you when he's doing the. Yeah, I, I, it, it seems like it wouldn't be too bad, it's just, I didn't think that would, that would be a thing. Also, when you play, um, <laughs> by the way, good thing you don't, get, by the way, good, be grateful you don't, you don't play Fusion on an actual GBA. Yeah. By that, by that I mean, like, I don't mean, like, control-wise, I mean, sound-wise. Oh, and I don't yeah. mean sound bad. I mean, because two bosses are known for blowing out your speakers. <laughs> <laughs> the Willy and Road Crash is naughty AF. What? I, I don't know what that means. Oh god. Bad idea. Yeah, what, what was that? What was that thing called? I already forgot what that was. I heard, I heard what the boss was called. Oh, Saris. Right. The Saris boss and uh, the Ridley fight, they scream your ears out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I've They're seen that. These guys are loud. <laughs> uh, easy, <laughs> easy, 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 though. Oh, by the way, be very careful during the first few minutes of, of fusion. <laughs> By that I mean because Samus uh, takes a, a shit ton of damage early on. Are you <laughs> Okay, I'm not saying I'm not saying that that out loud, but that it, it, that's true. That is amazing, uh, Doctor Antonio. <laughs> there, there's an entity that controls the box count called Willy. <laughs> and in, in and in Road Crash is apparently called uh, Willy U A, -A F U C K. With your fuck. <laughs> <laughs> usually, if I'm trying to, usually you can just like, I like to make up a word if I'm trying to get away with saying that. <laughs> <laughs> like, funk. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, uh, what's, what's a funnier one? I mean, I already have like my own like ways of cursing, so I mean. Well, how do you get away with saying? Well, how do you say the F word? <laughs> I mean, I don't necessarily need to. Hey, frick! There you go. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I say frick. That's the, that's the basic way to get through it. <laughs> yeah. I try to. I, I had. God, I haven't said like swears like Oof. like in like a funky way in, in so long. I forgot how I did it. <laughs> I mean, I don't usually get upset anyway, so I don't usually need to do that, but... Also, I'm taking a break from, uh, Dread for A for today, because I'm still kind of tired. <laughs> crash Prototypes. What do you mean by Crash Prototypes? So, you know what I'm playing instead? I'm playing Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> of course. Also, look how fast you can go in the monkey bars in this game. It's insane. Although, since Sega started touring the Golden Country, part of me wants to do that. I mean, I played the out. Well, I think it's meant to be the alpha version of this game. Um, so I, I've already done that there. I need oh to get. I need to use more Fiora's arts. That was really. <laughs> that was really crap. You know what? You know, I'm gonna. Do, you know, I'm gonna just dress up everybody. <laughs> let's just see what fun I can. Let's just see what fun outfits I can put everybody in. You know. <laughs> I don't normally like uh, August twenty sixth base. I forgot how weird the prodigal armor looks. <laughs> um, um, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it all on him just to see. <laughs> can you describe what uh what the twenty sixth of August beta was like? Because it like 
if I if I know like hear about some specifics, I might be able to tell you if I played it or not. Harry, an M sixty nine. An M sixty nine. That's so funny. I'm actually uh, like I... the Mac. Oh yeah, the Mac the Forest looks actually pretty nice on him. I... Oh, nice platinum. The one I played is August fourteenth Alpha. Probably. I, I I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just dressing up everybody at this point. <laughs> Check the files. I mean, I don't even know if I still have the that version of Fur Crash Free. I'm not honestly that fast. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a fun little outfit for Shulk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be careful with this. I appreciate this game having the option to use the old soundtrack. You know, I didn't. You know, I wouldn't use that anymore because <laughs> I love the rearranged soundtrack more. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, I feel like every remake needs to do that, like... If they're gonna have, if they're gonna do, if they're gonna do the soundtrack like this anyways. Yeah, if you're gonna remake, like, remix the soundtrack, give us the option to play the original. Yeah, that's one of the only problems I have with the Insane Trilogy. Yeah, it's, uh... And then, like, Colors Ultimate is really weird about it. I mean, I, I don't mind having the 50-50. Yeah, but... Oh, I think I'm more weird. I, I think it bothers me more how start how um the only one that the only one that doesn't in the only one that doesn't do it if you don't have the DLC anyways is Planet Wisp. That is really weird. Also, I'm taking way too much damage over stupid stuff now. I really want to shock you wearing this. Okay. Oh. That is a you lot of text. Just, we don't used to be known as always for you. They were making a new build every week for me. Oh, they were making a new build of the game every week. That's insane. Okay. Well, you know, you know I was shocked in his, um, uh, in his, um, uh, future connected look. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I do this? But I'm gonna... But I'm oh gonna my it. god! <laughs> I actually made that work. That was pretty hype. Oh, good. Those last few months of dev time must have been, like, insane. Lord almighty. I just- turning all the lights off make me edgy. <laughs> I just like it dark. <laughs> this make me edgy! <laughs> uh, I know it's number four. That's funny. Okay, I'll, I'll read that after this level. Oh, you made prototype videos yourself? That's cool. Okay. Yeah, that does seem interesting.
Even discovered why button button fuzzy one existed. Okay. Um let's see. Got three new bills of crash free, which were the August twenty sixth. September 26th and complete version which literally had only two minor differences okay <laughs> so I, I wish I had like scrappy or someone to like help read the chat because I had to like keep moving my attention back and forth wait what am I doing uh, did I already get this? I'm brain farting so hard. I did get this, right? Yeah, I, that was a complete brain fart. My bad. Button 31 is a button in Warp Room 6 that is, of course, unused. Um, but it's there, then it's a way to unlock it for a glitch. Huh. Is that what, um, they used for future tense and insane, or is that, like, just completely, like, a completely different thing? Future tense is completely different? Okay, fair enough. Come on, get the get the aggro off me, please. Okay. Oh, fine. Thirty one was was for hot cocoa. Okay. Was there a button for Agapus Rex as well? Go! Lightino! No button for Agapus That's pretty odd. I wonder why. Flippy spins. Is there any known like cut content for this game or is there like like no real known thing for that? Agabus Rex was the last minute level that they made because they felt like the baby T-Rex was underused. That's just my thing. Yeah, I can believe that. I mean, I think originally you're gonna use the, what was it, Baby T to uh, run away, run away from the Triceratops, but that just never came to be. Yeah, right. Oh my God. Okay, I'll, I'll take that here. That's fine. Woo. Okay, that was a solid run. <laughs> Oh, it was supposed to be used in chase sequences, but the PS1 couldn't handle it along with the reflections. Okay, that makes sense. So the console would just blow up. <laughs> That's amazing. So they wanted to have a similar thing to uh, Crash 2's Unbearable, where you ride Polar at the end and get chased by giant polar bear but it just didn't work out I guess which is unfortunate oh yeah, yeah I, I know about the lab lab assistant writing it that's from the beta I played or alpha wh whatever the hell I don't even I don't even know well, 
early version of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I think my first sounds right. Oh. Oh man, that jump feels so tight. <laughs> I know in the in in that version as well the purple gem door was a, was was a, it was timed instead which uh, is uh, interesting Oh come on dude No, don't go to the left. That's how we do it. Okay. That was probably the last alpha version before the game reached the beta phase. Yeah, mo most likely. Dango deal. Alright, this should be easy because I can just choose this. There's a 12 days gap between this alpha and the 26th beta and Andy... Go on. Gavin, tell, tell me that we made one build per week, so there might be another build between them. Yeah, I mean, who knows. You thrashed me, mate. No worries, but you'll soon be up against much worse. Alright. I know I can get the gems... Yeah, I, I, yeah, you can get the gems in Tomb Time and do the time trial at the same time, but I, but I don't know if I can do that. No. Nice, that was really messy. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I have a double jump now, so I I might be able to use it in some places. Take a trip. No, I know it will be. We're going for only that small house house. House? Are you sure I can't say? Oh, 
Oh my god! Quite the thrill ride that stage. When looking at magazines, you can tell what version of the build of the game they used. As far as I know, there are, there are at least two more builds to be found. Or at least two more builds that I've seen in magazines only. Well, here's fascinating stuff. Hi time. They really nerfed the, um, whatchamacallit, the fire things in Entain, because those things are tiny in that version. The fire flowing? Yeah. Like, just look how massive it is in this game. Mm. <sighs> I didn't think that would work. <laughs> I'm to do it. Hello. Good. Okay, that works. Uh, Nostalgia is the only thing that keeps you from playing the PAL version of Crash. I wasn't paying attention, that was bad. Crash 3, honestly. NTSC just runs better. It does, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I had to play the stage again because it. Stupid. The next step? Def death Route. Oh. I was just but Yeah, the, the NTSC does run better, but, uh. The, uh. NTSC is also quite a lot easier, so there's also that. No, I know I could have done the death route during the time trial, but that's also really difficult, um, and I, I'd rather just not. Wait, what? Stage. High time, or whatever the, the stage is called. No, I messed up the high jump. Here's the thing, maybe you should first check where you stand and, you, and then you can, you can see where you can put. I mean, yeah, I get I mean... I mean, that'll be pr that'll, if I want to do that, it'll probably some be something I'd practice off camera, because like I did the I I mean I know Ensign is also, but damn it, dude, uh, is also different in physics and whatnot. But like, I tried so hard to uh, get the red like just a gold red egg. This ain't crash too. Um, no, well. I, I don't know if I said Crash 2, but I meant Ensane. Um, but I tried... I tried, uh... 
getting the gold reddick in this stage and the uh get went for the death fruit. Oh my god! Why am I so bad? The one you have my phone power. <laughs> yeah, right. Um I just I don't know. When he said yeah, right, I was like talking about the blackest of the powers. <laughs> Well, that too. Um, but, no, I, yeah, I don't know. I, again, I might give that a try off camera, and then if I do another run, I'll, I might try that, but, yeah. I'm <laughs> sorry that we'll add two to be lost. <laughs> Once again, I'm not a professional runner, so I'm just kind of doing what I, what I feel comfortable with. So this TNT box is weird because, oh, never mind. Okay, it, okay in insane. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say in insane specifically. This is like the only TNT box in the game where you can slide off of. So that's kind of funky. No, I want to do. It <laughs> I'm wasting time by doing this. Oh my god, I'm... Duh. I'm just making dumb mistakes now. Oh, why would you slide off a tin? Well, usually you wouldn't, but for some reason you can do that in Insane. It's also a thing you can do in uh, Crash 4, which is something you want to do a lot in that game, so... Okay. Oh, so you can do stuff like this, if I can time this right anyway. Yeah! What? No, 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 no. Nah. Damn it. Don't need to wait for those... Yeah, no, I, I know about the Nitro trick as well. <laughs> I... Okay, I need to stop this. I'm making this, like, the dumbest mistakes now. I love these crash emotes you have. <laughs> I love the <laughs> Shulk and Ryan did the right as Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a really sloppy high time. And the mech on our the mech on our attacking. Oh no. Oh no. But yeah, I, I love how you can jump off of nitros in this game. Which means, which means we gotta go kill this, this enemy over here. <laughs> oh, 
not today. Whoa! Yobbity! Okay. Let's not lose our head, though. No. Dude. <laughs> Dude. The line was black. Let's not lose our head, though. Yeah. It's also the way. Oh. The way Ryan says it. Yeah. <laughs> I love all these characters. <laughs> they are charming. It's on and on and on. You suck! I'm not good at zigzagging. <laughs> like, I- It's hard enough for me to just put, like, do this fast, like, oh, like, in general, like, adding zigzagging on top of that is just... not gonna work. We are the Trick Kings, my friend! <laughs> um... <sighs> I'm playing as Fior for a bit because I need to get her achievement for doing enough arts. Because I know Ryan's is Ryan time, baby. <laughs> or now it's Ryan time. <laughs> Ryan time, baby. You can't have a rainbow without Ryan. Brave <laughs> <laughs> group of people to follow you around. Worth every penny. <laughs> That vertical section is a complete mess. Oh. No. Oh my oh, god. Uh, Shulk says, right, let's do this. That's the name of his achievement for doing his uh, arts a hundred times. Nice. I'm like, that's fitting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep on trying till the end. Sub 40? No thank you. <laughs> this is one of the lines I think about with, with Shulk. <laughs> right, let's do this. Is Sub 40 like the dev time or something? Huh? I'm talking, uh, 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 words. That, oh, that's your time? Oh my god. Okay, that, that's impressive. I, <laughs> I can't get, I can't be mad at that. I'm just spamming arts. <laughs> oh, God. Sub one minute on bug light. Nice. I don't know how precise that is, but that does sound. I mean, bug light is a pretty long stage, so I mean, I get that. That does sound like it would be pretty good. Let's not lose our heads, though. Let's not lose our heads, though. Alright, I need to make sure I do this perfectly if I want to do this right. Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Thank God this is ain't insane. Because, uh... <laughs> This is the ninth best planet, uh, best record on the planet. Okay. It's, uh... Well done. Well done. Well done. I just love that it's like, <laughs> in Black Knight, you just have the, the weird mode just going, well done. <laughs> yeah. Like, why is that a thing? <laughs> what, a, Matt, what a bunch of jokers. <laughs> I don't know a good route for this stage, by the way, so I'm just kind of winging it. Oh my god. Who else wants them?
No, no, I'm not going for the Raddock here. I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting all the boxes now, um, and then I'm gonna kill myself after I get the gem, and then I'll go for the Raddock. So we can, we don't have to do two trips to this place. That also means I can't die ever. So, uh, the pressure's on. Okay. Well, if I do this right, it will be faster overall. Alright, please. Hello. Yeah, if I do this right. If I die, um, everything will be sad. I go into spamming arts till um, uh, I get the achievement. <laughs> Let's take this easy. I didn't accidentally already get it. <laughs> Shocky friend over here. Now I still have to use the arc. Oh no, 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 no! That was dumb. <laughs> Face! Oh, fun. I don't want to bother for fighting some of these guys, so I really just want to get that achievement now. Yeah. There it is. I can be, there it is. I can be everyone. Anyone. That's uh, an achievement for using a hundred of, um, uh, Fiora's arts. Yeah. I'm just getting it out of the way now. Yee! Oh my god. No, 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 don't go through that. I'm just gonna make sure- I'm just gonna go to the nitro switch first. Now this stage would take ages to uh, map out correctly. I'm not even sure what the best route is for the Relic. Especially since this is PAL, uh, I do need to actually get a good time. I can't just have it easy. God, I, that I don't those bomb placements, man. All these met gone. This is strong, this is st strong like first chapter. <laughs> time travel. Time for this is your birth year. I'm uh, the I'm assuming the uh, platinum relic time is what you mean. Oh my god. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. That's... that's cool. Oh, crap, I probably should push a Ryan. Ryan time. Well, because I can't count on Ryan to topple. Mm. Move away. <laughs> Alright. No, 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 no! I'm gonna have a panic attack in a moment. Can't blow up anybody's parts. <laughs> 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 
gonna take with me a bit to get back, slash up. Jason, I'm scared, help me. Hug. <laughs> um, let's improve War Swing. Why did you just hit the book? Stop making me do this. You know, I wonder what their logic is that a Mechon is invulnerable. I, I know, I, I get that they're, that they're vulnerable to Minato, but like, what is it about Fong over that makes them vulnerable to normal attacks? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. I really should just do this normally at this point, based on principle of the matter now. It's the fact- oh, yeah, it's the fact- This level used to be the old ski craze. I mean, that would make sense because it's the same- It used to be, the, like, the same, like, uh, start- like, art style and- Well, not art style, but, um, like, visual thing for this jet ski. Like, the whole sunset. No, you had to, like, keep doing these, like- Really death defying jumps because the bombs are in like the mo the most dickish locations ever. <laughs> oh my god. Please just do the break art, Shulk. <laughs> this. Y not having access to checkpoints really changes this level a lot because. Every, any mistake can just screw this whole thing over. It's kind of nuts. But if I, mm, I knew it, I knew it. I can't say I'm that surprised that this level is um, causing me, uh, causing me issues. It usually does in one way or another. Running away is a valid tactic. I'm not expecting... Good. I'm not expected to have the, the, be the best time. Uh, oh well. On a, I've just never been the greatest at this stage. I over level several of these mech on. <laughs> yeah. At least by six. Sea Angel. Running away is a it's a JoJo strat. <laughs> That's a high Sea Angel, how you doing? I'm alive! I'm assuming you're- I'm, I'm assuming you're new here, because I don't recognize your name. Okay, let's not forget about this. You're new? Okay, fair enough. Well, welcome to the, uh, what is now happening, my pain and, pain and su- my pain and suffering. Uh, your prize is that you, um, I don't know. <laughs> what, what the, what, what is their prize, Jason? Silly hugs. Yay. <laughs> there you go. Prize. <laughs> Don't hug me unless you want COVID forty six. <laughs> Order sixty six.
This is a beautiful stage though. I love the whole sunset aesthetic going on. Alright, please! Where is Scrappy anyway? Like, he's just... dead. Mm. Is he even on Lime? Scrappy, no. Oh, wow. Everything, God, that's a lot. Everything about PS1 version of Crash is beautiful. Except that you don't, you don't like Bash. I mean, uh, visually from what I've seen, Bash doesn't exactly look stellar. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I don't appreciate how close the shark was to the ramp there, but I'll, 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 I lived, so. Right, I don't want to mess up now. Yeah, these games do look really good, but like, even to this day. I can't remember how this cutscene looked like on the 3DS slash Wii. It's <laughs> mm. like, it's very close. Really big, clo very close ups of Ryan and Shulk right there. Yeah. Okay, I want to focus for these last boxes. And then we have to get the relic. Yay. I do kind of like getting, going for the gold relic in this place because it's more of a puzzle. Um, bring out the. Oh, oh, oh! Also, thanks for uh, following. And uh, yes, I think Jason's playing Xenoblade. Yes, I am. He's a massive. He's a massive fan. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll I'll just take this easy. No, 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 no. Cultured. Yeah, Xenoblade is a is a good game. I've only played the first one. Okay, just get the gem and then we kill ourselves. Shulk! You're gonna die soon. I'm gonna die. Come on. Topple it. Bre sorry, break it, Shulk, please. This is another issue I have. Since the draw distance is like non-existent in this game, like, it's so hard for me to find the exit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, now we do that and then we kill ourselves. And that should keep, that should let us keep the gem. Yeah, now, now we just have to uh, try to get the gold. Um, I, this is the route I tend to go for. I don't know if this is, I, no, I know for a fact this isn't, this isn't the fastest, but it's what I know break, break. works, so, so it's, I, I don't know if I want to say that, but, no, <laughs> no, nah, nah, I messed up. I messed up. At least the track's good. I, li I like the... I, a lot of the, um... The vehicle stages have some really good tracks in this game. Come on, don't break it. Break our please. Thank you. Oh my god. I know that's possible. Um, for whoever asked me what I'm playing, um, I would be playing Metroid Dread, but I'm a little too tired for that right now. And somehow I'm not tired for Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> well, you're the Xeno nut. Plus, it's a, plus, that's a new game, and I'd have to um, uh, think about what's going on in the moment. Oh my god. It's easier for me to play. It's easier for me to talk about a game I played. Yeah, yeah. That film, that face with no dynamite. I mean, we'll we'll get to dynamite soon enough. Don't worry. Hey, it's dumb man. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm an auto. I, I know we I know I know what you meant to say there, Sea Angel, but it's funny. Metroid dead. <laughs> Party. Let me play as dumb. I'm gonna play as dumb man for a bit because I have Nado. Manando. That was bad. That was a bad jump. God. Obviously, do I use Manando in chance? That means we're good. Did he? Um, I. It's your. I'm assuming you're talking about Jason if he finished Xenoblade, and that's yes. The answer is yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm playing. This is a new run. May or may not want to be a bad person. What? <laughs> oh. Wait, what? I, I, I'm assuming you wanted to go into spoilers or something, but um, as long as it's not future connected, because I haven't played that, but I have. I played the um, original game. Well, don't worry, I won't talk about Future Connected. Yeah, yeah literally the only thing I could tell, even then, the only thing I really could tell you is just what you know, is what is everybody should know. <laughs> and just who the party members are, because they just say who they are. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that much, but yeah. Oh god, this is not great. I for the record, the for the record, but you're not pun you get are adorable. Oh, oh, that's what you mean by being bad. You just you wouldn't really spoil him. You just say a bunch of stuff, a bunch of crap that didn't happen. So, so you, so you just <laughs> you just mess with him. Troll to Jason. Yeah. I can't. I can't wait for. I can't wait for you to get to the part where Ryan, uh, it becomes the true wheel of the Minato. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the part where Ron just becomes spiders because he just was. <laughs> and then randomly Mario shows up. <laughs> yeah. It was. What was it that that one one point in the AI Harry Potter was just like. Not so handsome now, said Harry as he dipped Hermione in hot sauce. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fake news, Ricky is the true <laughs> wilder. Yeah. Also, the only thing I can tell you, oh, the only future connected thing right now is that's happening is that I have future connected outfit on Shulk. <laughs> nice. My name's Jeff. Only because, so I have it, you know? No, my name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. Don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> I love that. My name's Jeff. <laughs> it's just like, what? <laughs> oh, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my concentration at this point. Oh, okay, there we go. We good. We good. Ooh. I thought that was a platinum for a moment, but I, I knew that wouldn't be right. I love these full motion cutscenes. Thank God, we were in Hot Cocoa for ages. What was this, Crash 4? Almost hit, hit yeah. the wrong button there. All that for a god, this game's brutal. Yeah, Hot Coco's uh, Radic is uh, really difficult. I mean, Hot Coco in general is just difficult. I will say this, uh, these stages are, they haven't, they aren't necessarily like a, f like a favorite still, but they have grown on me over time. 
I still hate Harry Area 51 though. That stage can go die. Is it never power the Monado? Power the Monando. God, Adam Holland is such a good voice for Shulk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of, I don't know why I thought of this, but um, one of Sora's victory lines has to be that's the power of the Keyblade. <laughs> it has, they have to do that. Yeah, that's the power of the Keyblade. Oh, too fast. Oh, no. That's, okay, I don't know if I'm going to win this. Dude! Yeah, there's no way. I'll keep going for there's, the gem. The only one thing that sucks about playing Shulk in this game is that uh, his arts are, uh, for better or worse, consistent. Wait, what? He doesn't need any more arts beyond what he, in what he gets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are buffering hard Jesus Christian. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, it, is Twitch, like, buffering really badly? Well, you say it's good now, so I assume it's fine, but... And we didn't like, even get the gem, damn it. <laughs> we didn't, didn't even get the yeah. gem. In a sec. Brrrr. It was? Okay, well. Hopefully it doesn't do that. I mean, on on OBS is saying it doesn't say any frames are being dropped, so I hope nothing bad happens. But we shall see. I'm not gonna face. It doesn't mean anything. We had the Monado. Not though. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. Sound, you sound like a Wind Waker <laughs> NPC. Hey! Yeah, I, I don't know who. I don't remember who says that, but. Eh, King of Red Lines. Hey! I mean, I know there's that, but like, there, there's one that specific, specifically does the. Hey! Yeah. No, 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 it's not working! Yeah, uh, maybe. I, I I do know like like uh, uh, Twitch streams also depends on your own connection. <laughs> oh good. Okay, oh, this fucking... Harry, Harry fucking engaged the enemy. Nice. I love this song so much. <laughs> I'll show you my enemy. Uh... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Don't ask. Although, how they turn like, uh... A little... <sighs> Go faster! Oh! Oh my god! Okay. I remember how I turned Counter Attack into like a song in um uh, Smash for Xenoblade 2. Internet Doesn't quite work as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's kind of universally agreed that the Counter Attack remix is worse. <laughs> oh, I I wouldn't know. Sus. Yeah, that, that was, that was like, I won that by like a frame, like, oh my god. Um, I guess to get better clarification, because Counter Attack is a cutscene song. Mm. You know? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't remember. Also, I love how the, I love how the uh, motorcycle has a hitbox of like a truck, because I was nowhere near that box. Mm. Yeah.
Saucy Baka. Baka, Baka, Baka! Cutscene's mm. so good. <laughs> Topple, use topple and break. Oh, I missed all those. That's kind of bad. No, screw you, dude. Oh, I don't remember what the time I need is. Please be like under 130. That's gonna be a sapphire, I know it. It's not even a Vredic. Dude. No! Not Warp Room. Sad. I just did Blossom. I almost O code uh, Bla Blossom. Battle Face. Because I, love, because I love that talent. That's a really good talent art. Yeah. Well, you know. Born a world of strife against yeah, the yeah, odds. Yeah. I knew you were going to uh, quote it. We choose to fight! Lots and dance! It's one of the best talent arts. Mm. Especially in chain attacks. Oh, yeah. Like, you want. If you send Dumb Man to, like, the third member of your party for a chain attack, when he, He's the third member of the DK crew. Like, even if he. Like. Unless you're lucky enough to get like the like the continuation part of it, like where you can keep it going, mm -hmm. and like he'll like when you do blossom dance, it will have, like a times five or something. Yeah, and they, it just wrecks their health bar. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm coming. Jason, be leaving. Okay. That, that burp I just did, it's made, it sounds like when you go rare. Right. <laughs> oh, weirdo. <laughs> no, you're silly. Nice touch, by the way, adjusting his caught, adjusting Hulk's outfit, <laughs> so how it was before. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one detail I like about this game is um, when it does flashbacks, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it, it remembers exactly what your character was wearing during it. Nice. How is that like, a I sapphire? Oh my because god. Was wearing, Fiora was wearing like the outfit I like fiddled around with, right? But Shulk was wearing his normal outfit because I haven't done anything to him. Mm. But even though right now I'm wearing the I, the costume I'm wearing is the uh, is the future connected one. One twenty. Oh my god. Okay. I'm like that's impressive attention to detail. <laughs> I I forgot. Yeah, it really did. Um, they I forgot how much stricter the time relics were in this version. I, I knew they were more strict, but like. God damn, okay. Compared to... And, well, Ensane more specifically, but um, also the American version. Like, like I said in, in DMs before, like, you guys really got the easy, like, the, like, the e way easier version of this game. Are you playing your version right now? Yeah, no, I, I, I don't have... I mean, first off, I don't even have access to an NTSC version. <laughs> well, how'd you play? You play Crash 2 NTSC, right? No, it, I, I don't. I think it's still. I think it's still PAL. The, the PlayStation version? 
Yeah. Try to play from the store version, rather. Yeah, it, it would still be powerful, I understand. I mean, I can just look back on, on the on the stream I did and see if it says, um, like... Do you compete with you in America? <laughs> yeah, or Europe. Has our friend played Xenoblade Chronicles? <laughs> Our friend, uh, who do you mean? In the chat. In the chat, well, I, I, I assume so. Cause All right, then. They were I'll saying the how much they uh, really, really love it and stuff. Oh, uh, well, okay. Okay, because I, cause I can still say a lot of dumb band friends mean a lot. They, they, they hit very differently on repeat runs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I can attest to that. You finished both one and two. I haven't played uh, two. I've seen... Some various random clips, but I haven't I haven't played too. My and so well that's just it. I'm worried if I'm really worried if I can talk about it like like sick to say names out loud. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if this is good enough. <sighs> Screw I this. Don't, game. Even, if three, even if just the three of us, even or if even if Silk jumps in, because I know Silk can play the game, so. <laughs> I just had this image of like we're just like in I don't know some kind of theater setting or whatever, and we just sit all sitting on on chairs, and then so just come like just oh no just comes in from the ceiling and just jumps on one of the chairs and just joins with the conversation. <laughs> it reminds me of Poker at the Inventory Two, where Ashley Williams just falls in and then it just like kill me in. We buff. Like nobody nobody says anything. We buffering. Well, uh, but regardless, I'm worried if I can say names. Yeah. Okay. St yo, still on. Being... What do you mean? Mm -hmm. what, what world record free? Like world record pace for this game? No, no way. Should I, I just, just for the sake of if anybody jumps oh. in, should I just would say names? Yeah, I'll probably be for the best. Okay. Um, warp room free? No, I I've been stuck. I, this Warpring 3 has been complete garbage. <laughs> but I've been doing terribly. We'll be right as Ryan. Get it? <laughs> you we'll cracked be, me up. We'll be right back after these messages. Say names. Yeah, we Banana can't, we man. Can't, we I'm, can't say names of characters who I'm talking about because that's spoilers. <laughs> Took and for anybody who for anybody who jumps in, rather. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted oh. to know that, Dr. Antonio, but thanks. What do you say? He said, yeah, it took longer than me taking a dump. <laughs> <laughs> what a... Jeez. Do you remember what party you went in the game on with, um, Harry? Oh god, it's been years. I don't remember. I remember when I beat the game, um, with me playing a Shulk. It was me, a sh um, Dunban, and, uh, Charla. Oh god. Only because, um, uh, Charla, even if I don't like playing, I'm sure Char Charla is reliable to have around. Yeah. I don't know what's being talked about in chat. Uh, I. Warpin 3, no dynamite trash run. <laughs> I need to. I need to go. Hold on, I need to. Oh I my on. god! How is it online? Let me see if we're good for more reporting. This game is. Well, th this level more specifically is just insanely difficult for some reason. Mm. No, no, that was just that was just a bad run. Oh, I'm starting Kingdom Hearts 2 tonight. Oh, the, okay. Oh. Interesting. I can I think I can hold off a little bit tonight since I'm making good time anyways. I mean, he's probably gonna be. 
He's not even gonna be streaming. Yeah, he's gonna be streaming from his channel. Right. I, I mean, mean he's, I, can move up. I feel I'll like all of them. he's most. He's probably gonna be like stuck in Twilight Town for the. Uh, well, the whole, the whole session is going to be Twilight Town. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I don't. Yeah, because that goes on for a while. Especially on your first time. Well, especially if you aren't skipping cutscenes. Oh, if you're skipping cutscenes, you lose like a whole like hour. <laughs> yeah. At at at, at, at least. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot. It's like what three hours? I think. Although that does worry me for Hub's sake because we know how much he hates slow starts. Mm, yeah. At the very, I'll give it credit though. Well, although I think it does it. I think Kingdom Hearts 2 definitely does it slow. It start better. <laughs> mm. Just because you know it's it's more story. It's a bit it's a bit more story than like slow gameplay. Yeah. No. In, in terms of like, if we're talking specifically story, I think 2 has the best intro in terms of that. Yeah. If we're talking gameplay, then 3 does it better. Oh, right, yeah, because it, 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 besides having the optional and the optional tutorial men menus, we're pretty much just straight into Olympus. Yeah. Which is like, thank nope. you, cause it, 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 it wastes no time, basically. Like how it's possible to get both Platinum and Box Gem at the same time on this level? Uh, well, I'm struggling to get just a Gold Relic, just normally, and so, yeah. Yeah, Wolverine 3 in this game is basically just, um, I hope you have your big boy pants on now. I'm telling Crystal this just in case. <laughs> we're both excited for this. He, 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 he told me um, uh, he'll start Kingdom Hearts 2 soon as he's doing Metroid Dread. Good thing Metroid Dread's a short, good thing Metroid games are short. <laughs> also, he already finished Dread. Probably, yeah, it's a short game. <laughs> Plus, when right. I got, in fact, um, when I got into the call, he was already on, like, the fifth enemy. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm glad Dread seems to be doing well, because uh, that means the series will most likely continue for a while. Because uh, the Metroid series kind of yeah. needs that after being dormant for so long. Dread, was, Dread is also exactly what we need to hold us over until Prime 4. <laughs> Yeah, and who knows when that will happen, or like when that will come out. Well, especially since they ha actually, when was the announcement that um, uh, Retro was taking over the project from scratch? A couple years ago, I think. I don't mm. remember exactly. I give it another two years. Uh, I think it's possible to come out next year. Okay, two years max. Yeah. Otherwise. Mid t mid next year. <laughs> okay, I think I'll get it. That should Maybe be good. June, June next year, if we're gonna get be, be more of a oh, estimation. God. Yeah. Um. That's because uh. that's because every crate is time crate. People just don't do it because you normally get the gem along with the crystal. Tell that the Golden Sun series that got cocked hard. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, I I feel. I feel bad for Golden Sun fans. Uh, OCD victim is to get gold or Did Isaac even get a can get his me his me costume? I don't know. I, I I only know he got the assist trophy back. Um, he didn't have a me costume, right? I I, I I don't remember. Um, yeah, I need to get the goals. By the way, um, I I don't. Well, I'm pretty sure pretty sure one at least one of you know this. Um, but like you need, I need the goals to get the secret gem, so. God, it feels weird to be on a platforming stage after all this time. It must also yeah. feel good to finally be released from the secret, aim for, aim from the, aim, be released from, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, a bit. <laughs> It does feel, it does feel nice. Especially since now we can, 
Especially now that, especially now that you can just focus on um uh, for your own channel. Anyways, you could just focus on um uh, what's it called? Oh, what was the game called? Unleashed. Yeah. So I need to finish that, and then. Uh... And then you're doing um, Donkey Kong Country Three on your streams. Well, I mean, we, we can we can start doing DKC Three whenever. Um, like the stream stuff isn't like on the same schedule as the LPs. Right. I get the I get the feeling it'll take us about three or four sessions to beat beat three. Yeah, I I think honestly I think like two like two to three. I don't think it will take that long. Well, but it also depends on how long the Lost World goes. Yeah. In theory, I should do a much better job than I did in the LP. And 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 also, you have somebody actually playing with you who knows what how to how it works, or not how it works, rap. Um, I meant to say, uh, who has experience. So. I yeah. I just suck at this game now. I just can't do anything. There we go. I just tried Road Crash out of Jersey, and I guess this was a yes day. I I'm assuming you just got a really good run uh, just then. If that's the case, uh, well done. <laughs> One six. Oh my god, okay, that's impressive. I. You are clearly way better at this game than I am, uh, in that case. Because I would never get that time. Good. Ended out. How the heck did you do that even after getting out on the track? That's impressive. Oh, this here looks like a Metro Fusion. Think, think, the, think the fusion suit, but green. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, think the fusion dance. <laughs> Only nitpick I have, by the way, with Dread so far, loading times between transitions are pretty long. Between, like, areas are pretty long. It's uh, unfortunate. About... 10 to 15 seconds. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit... Uh, that's a bit annoying. What's with um, but so many... That, each individual area itself is seamless. Okay, that's good. What is it with, well, like... You go, through, you go for a door, it, like... It, it goes, like, black... Uh, it, like, it, it fades to black for, like, quarter of a second. <laughs> yeah, what is it with, like, recent games having, like, really long load screens? I guess it's um, I don't want to say part of, part of it is probably optimization, and the other part is probably uh, what, what's the good way to say it? Um, how because big games tend to be bigger nowadays. Yeah, because like, you got uh, Kingdom Hearts three, which takes a while to load, and then there's a uh, Crash four, and uh, I guess now Metroid Dread. Well, I well Crash four at launch, anyways. Well, yeah, 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 but you get what I mean. Especially the and especially the uh, the PS4 version. <laughs> right. PS5 version, it's like you wouldn't even know there was a problem. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it it makes the um, platinum not platinum uh, the perfect Redix a complete pain in the ass because of it. <laughs> the best reason to get a PS5 just so you don't have to worry about those load times. Yeah, right. And you get 60 frames per second gameplay. <laughs> Right. I think, uh... Mm. I'm not sure when I'll get a PS5, to be honest. Part of me is more... You know, honestly, just get... Just the load times alone make the make it the definitive version. I mean, yeah. You could literally try anything else, and that, and that would just... And, but that would still be the definitive version. <laughs> yeah. I, if it, like, at the moment, like, that's literally the only, re only reason I would get one, and that's... Not good just, enough. Just your load time. Yeah, and that's not that's not enough of an incentive for me to buy a whole console. I think. Uh, I, um, 
Rift Apart is a good reason to get a console, is to get it. I mean, yeah, but uh, I I have a long ways to go before I'd even play that, so... No. Although, um... It feels like- it doesn't feel like you need to play the other games to play that one, because they don't seem no. to be making reference, at least. Well, I, I think... Xbox would have help with me, so he would tell me. Right, well, I, I get that, but, you know... I'm also- I, I also like, uh, play- if I can help it, I like playing a series in order, because it helps me see how, how it improved over time. Yeah. Ooh, power bombs. Power bomb move. Good. There's a power bomb and the SAX is really close. <laughs> oh, that was a bad jump. And you know what, just, just, cut, just call, call it a bit of a celebration for Aim to Dread. I'm watching the brain scratch from a fusion. Oh. <laughs> also because I don't want to set up my Wii U again. <laughs> yeah, boy. Best console. Otherwise, I would, I mean, otherwise it, I would just play fusion myself. Yeah. It is worth considering, though. I mean, especially since that's how I can play Zero Mission. <laughs> yeah. I probably shouldn't be damage, damage boosting this much. That should be fine. Samus is near ship. Samus is under fire! So, wait, wait, Adam, why do you need the Samus to return to the ship? <laughs> because why could you just talk to me right there? Well, probably because it's more secure in the ship. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, Brawl next month, by the way, so that's gonna be fun. Oh, you're gonna start playing Brawl? Yep. Oh, oh actually, now I realize it. Um, pretty soon, you'll, you, well, now you have the ability, you know, now you have everything you need to start your Smash, uh, let's just, you have, now you have everything you need to start your, um, uh, ultimate run eventually. Yeah, in like five years. I mean, well, yes and no, because we don't- Okay, easy, easy. Oh, damn it, dude. Uh, we don't know how long they're gonna support the game with spirits. Hmm. Maybe, maybe just, maybe, like, oh, I, I think we only- I think we have four- I think we're just four shy of, um, 1500. Uh, 1500. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I- I- Black represents- <laughs> Yeah, um- yeah, they'll definitely be done by the time I get to Ultimate because, like, it'll it'll be like a long time until then. Oh, easy. Like, I don't expect to get to Ultimate for, and this is being extremely generous, uh, three years. And that, 
Uh, no, no, actually, no, that's impossible, because Brawl's going to take, like, at least a year and a half. And then there's uh, both 3DS and Wii U, which... That's going to take forever. <laughs> so the... The, the estimate is more like five years, to be honest. <laughs> Good lord, I'm never going to finish this series. I'm going to make sure it breaks all the boxes. And of course it didn't. Energy tank. Okay, thank God. Yeah, I think the world record for this uh, world record for this game is sub sub two hours. And uh, yeah, we're definitely not getting that. <laughs> Oh god, we've got Ski Craze next. That's gonna be a doozy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I remember this boss. Oh. Sorry, I'm looking confused. And I remember this boss. It's one of the more annoying ones. The spider. Speedo. Oh. No, don't do that. All right, this boss has right. The spider has screw attack. Screw attack. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. It's too slow hanging fruit. Okay. Hey, at least this boss uses the Sarah's beam. That's a really good beam. No, don't go up, Crash. Crash! Why? And now you got the space jump. Okay, no, it's not. The, it's not screw attack. It's the space jump. <laughs> Hey, how you get like stuck in boxes sometimes? Pretty much just flying. <laughs> Space Hold jump. Up all right, this is where it all counts. Nice. Woo! I'll take that. I'll take that. Hi, hi Johnny, how you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save my game here, because uh, I'm scared it's gonna crash. Bandicoot. What? 
I, I don't care, just save that start. I can hear that, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, the, the SAX can be kind of stupid because there's a little ditch you can hide and I, I, you go into when you're trying to escape it. You just sit in there, it won't even try to diagonally shoot you. It'll just try, try to screw attack you. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard the SAX uh, can be really easily, um, like, you can abuse the AI or whatever. It's more for hilarity than anything. <laughs> Okay, this might be bad. Uh, we, we shall see. I'm trying to get the German rabbit. At the same time. <laughs> Jason amuses me. And what power is this one? Plasma beam! Nice. The plasma the plasma beam is a really good ability. Oh yeah. You know, it goes through walls. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's gonna cost me. As long as I get gold, I I'm fine. Shine spark! You know what's interesting? Um, in Super Metroid, it actually takes up your your health to do a Shine Spark. Yeah, I've seen that. That's interesting. And it's the only game to do it, I think. Mm. Oh my god. So yeah. you need to do it at points. <laughs> Apparently, it, I don't think he can kill you, though. Well, you did. Man. I don't know if I'm gonna get this. He, uh, hit Adam's like, wait, why do you have your positive beam? <laughs> what are you doing? This isn't, this is against the rules. I think that's actually what he's saying. <laughs> right. Because they're actually trying to make sure that Sam doesn't get too powerful, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. I think at this point I need to just have the time stop forever. Damn it. I think gold is long gone. Ready? Wait, what? Hmm. I what what would it, what is the time? This is summer. Okay. I'll 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 take your word for it. I don't know Damn what. The, a... What is the time I'm looking for? The droid I'm looking for. Oh my god. Oh right, nightmare. Oh yeah, that 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 thing that shows up in other room. Yeah. Fifty forty eight. Oh my god. Okay. And this is the power time, right? Shine spark. Yeah, shine spark puzzles. He just did one gigantic in spark. <laughs> and now we're on a water level. It's just a frame thing that makes a difference in t NTSC. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, I think some levels just have a different time uh, you need to go for. But, um, yeah, the, uh, for NTSC is 50-50, okay. 
Here comes the nightmare. Oh no. Scary nightmare. I think the game counts the frames and calculates the time on the spot, technically. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, I know the, yeah, I know the American version runs smooth, more smoothly. So that probably has, like, that probably changes quite a bit. I love how specific that is. I have 1,262 frames to complete this, technically. Okay, hey, the gravity suit. Okay, I, I need... Okay, I... Frame is 0 0.04 seconds, yeah. Oh my god, really? Game the gravity suit is so satisfying. <laughs> yeah. I keep messing that up. You try tried to shove a power level in, in an NTSC build. So they're just completely different builds all like all together, that's interesting. I tried that on the alpha you s that I said I tried. Okay. That's... Yeah. I've also seen people try to uh, put Crash 3 levels into uh, Crash 2 and vice versa. And um, the results on that vary because it's... Uh, all the, the changes they made to the uh, engine and whatnot. Because what is I love it? it. Oh. I think you get the- sorry, I, you finish. No, I was gonna say, I, I think the main thing in, in Crash 3 is that they improved the draw distance and stuff. So when you, like, tr when you try to, uh, put, like, Crash 3 levels into 2, it kinda doesn't really work the, great, the greatest. Like, you have to do a lot of, like, messing around to make it work, right? Hmm. Anyway, I was that uh, um, I, I was saying, um, when you get, well, after you get the gravity suit, you're supposed to go for the underwater area, right? Yeah. But what, but if you do, if you do this insane, like, shine spark chain, um, you can make it back to the navigation room, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but then, um, Adam, just, it, uh, in a TLDR kind of way, just basically says, good job breaking the game, but you gotta go continue the story now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So, great job, idiot. Now move on. Well, not idiot. It's just like, well, it, it's actually like, huh, that was impressive. <laughs> no, no, I, yeah, I figured, but it's just, it's, it's funny. Oh, dude, I, I knew that was going to happen. No, restart. In the bug light port for Crash 2. That, I mean, you race for the creator of this. That, Sounds pretty cool, actually. I know, um, what is it? What was it? I, I, Ray, Raymu or whatever the name is. Like, I know 
I know they uh, do a lot of uh, OG Crash modding. I I played uh, the Crash Circus level they made. I think it's a sh I think it's a she, but I don't know for for certain. Huh? I'm talking about Crash modders. Yeah. You raced with other other for other track. I I'm bad at word. I know who that is. Um, but yeah. Oh, Rainbow is mm. a go, a girl. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, they, the crash modding scene uh, is uh, like keeps on. It, it's going places, that's for sure. Oh, they taught you stuff about modding. That's that's really cool. I wish mm. I, I that that stuff that, that a lot of that stuff is beyond me, but it's cool. Yeah, I I love to make like custom stuff. Shine spark hole. Alright, you'll, you'll have to forgive me for a minute because I'm not going to look at the chat until I finish this. Because I keep on looking back and forth and it's kind of messing with my concentration. So yeah, you'll have to bear with me for a sec. Johnny's run because I just like walking how fast he goes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Watching Speedy Metroid is is like a thrill. Oh yeah, it's, it's the reason why it's so popular among speedrunners. Because it's designed to be sped through. Yeah, exactly. Shine Spark! Oh! <laughs> Shine Sparku! By the way, Jesse, I don't know if you know this, but for but for reference, when you um, Shine Spark, if you hit a ramp, um, usually you'll be the Shine Spark, and you'll you'll stop, and you'll you'll keep your you'll keep the spark going, but you won't lose it. But you won't lose it. Right. So, so it's like you can control when to do it again, because it's very because game is trying to spark one. Before. Yeah. Oh my god. I really... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe, but the... Why... why oh, good. The, the reason I did the ramp and then landed in the bombs is because I wanted to uh, get the... get the box in the air and then immediately get the... The ones where the the bombs were, um, but like I just I just went complete tits up.
I'll look back at what you said earlier, um, in a, in a bit. Dude! Why do I, why do I suck at this game? Expect to, this to be. Oh, wave beam! Oh, so there hard. it is. Wave beam is what goes through walls. The 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 plasma beam is what car it goes for more enemies. Ah. Uh. But then when you combine all that shit together, whoop boy! Oh boy! I mean, it's fun having an overpowered Samus. Restricted yeah. zone. I mean, I that's like I think that's what speedrunners tend to do. They do like ILs, so they can get good at specific levels, and then they and then they like do full runs. Um, yeah, so I hey, the Metroids. Uh, I can't. Yeah, I I kind of. I don't know, like, I, I knew this was going to be difficult, but, like, I kind of underestimated how, how much this would kick my ass. Ugh. Also, yeah, it, emulation, emulation can be kind of tricky to get working right depending it well, depending on what you're trying to emulate I guess and also your computer specs as well yeah PlayStation emulation in general though is uh, just kind of a nightmare I've heard PSP is easy to emulate but besides that like, console stuff is just... God. Your PC's decent, I mean... I mean that's good. Oh, no! Stupid stray box. There will be no fewer than a, a than ten SAX aboard the station. <laughs> Someone best you get back get back in twenty sixteen. Yeah. By the way, one thing about fusion is that um Samus eventually actually starts talking. Right. Yeah. It's like really brief, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to let go of the X button sometimes. Release approved. Yeah, it's. Oh man. I... I was letting go there. Oh, screw this! Why? This is just... I think what's happening is that I'm doing the flip. I... I... 
I don't even know, dude. Oh, is this where Ridley is? Uh, yes! I was right. It's the game that's flipping you. Well, I know you do tricks depending on how you're um, moving. It's just really easy to do the uh, sideways flip because you're just normally moving left and right anyway, so it's like... Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, this game... This uh, level is... Something Hooray! Else. It hit Ridley, and now it's dead. <laughs> and then there's Chunky, he's dead. And, and from beating Ridley, you get... Screw attack! Oh! I love this so much. I suck. I suck at everything. Oh my god. I just can't play video games anymore. Yeah, and now Samus is fully powered. Bombs. We're starting to play any Metroid game, it's gonna take like three times as long. Have I really been on this stage for like 30 minutes? Which stage are we on? Ski crazed. Ski hmm. raised. Again. Am I playing the- am I, am I playing Warped or Crash 4? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Four. Guy, let's do it, guy. Screw attack. And now, and now you're saying it. It's because it's funny. <laughs> When I said shut up earlier, that was just how Johnny reacts. <laughs> Screw that! <laughs> but, yeah, by the time I finish this, I'm gonna say it's about time, yeah. The fact that people yeah, can people do people one hundred. Wait, what? Oh, best. Yeah, I was gonna say, the fact that people can uh, do 106% speedruns or Crash 4 is insane. Oh, dude. Oh, good. The Gal oh, yeah, the Galactic Federation is very smart. Said no one ever. You're correct, by the way, because you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to goddamn- they're trying to capture and research the X, which is not a good idea. Right, yeah, the Federation is, uh, pretty weird. They do some weird experiments, yo. Be like, why you do this? What is going on in my life right now? Nah, there's no way this is gonna work. Dude, why can't you, like... Do the monkey dance? I don't even know what I was going with that.
Yeah, I really... This whole stage has, been, has taken me, like, as long as it's taken me to, like, do a full walkthrough at this point. Why can't I just be normal? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Ski crazed re. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why this one stage has given me grief. I mean, I say that, but a uh, road crash also took a while. But still. Come on, man. I beat Yazora yesterday. Cut me some slack. I do like this, by the way, because, like, when the Adam AI, at, like, starts, like, give, tell, give, telling Samus, like, like, pro like how to stop everything, because it does a quick cut of her face, like, her eyes widening. Seems, like, like a cutscene. Seems under fear. Best song. Any objections, lady? Yeah, why didn't you let me turn on the, uh, was it the various suit in Other M? Like, why did he scoop? Like... <laughs> I wanted when to be a in, troll. Well, whatever happens post, um, fusion now, it's all, um... It, the interesting thing is that, like, she and Adam are just, like... Just, like, working together now, again. Mm. Because... Because the... Cause the ad cause um it, the, the AI is like with them. In fact, like as soon as you get to your first communication room, they just establish it right away that it's him. Right. Or bro, no, not even that. In the intro cutscene, he even call even calls her lady. So that's how that's how you can tell it's the Adam AI. <laughs> Go! Jason, can you tell, tell the game to stop being mean? Stop it. <laughs> this is a horrible speedrun. This is not even a speedrun anymore. This is just crap. There are three endings to this game, by the way. Two hour, beat the game in two hours, beat the game with um, uh, all the items, and one for doing both. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. So, I, I wish you good luck on kicking ski cra skis cra ski crazed ass. This is probably like the worst speedrun anyone's ever done on this of this game. We're going to lack a gun, right? up please yeah for the the pussy just runs away <laughs> that's a ten second what happened there you beat the SAX but it's just like fuck this I'm out 
Dude. So now, so now we have three minutes to escape. Yeah, boy. Blow shit up. Blow shit up. Ridley, how Ridley's theme and the and, and the escape theme are basically the same. <laughs> right. Oh my god! Get in the portal. Oh. And there's the ship, but it's gone. Oh my. You know god. why? Omega Metroid. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um. My okay, there's a uh, Deep Trouble 2, which is 156.10, and then there's Ski Craze, which I beat in like the time after that is uh, 227.43. So that, that's a uh, that was a really bad time for that stage, my lord. If I if I'm ever gonna do a second run of this, Ski Craze is where I'm gonna have to practice because that was awful. Oh crap, I don't have a super sp I don't have the super spin. <laughs> or death tornado spin rather. Go back and get the gem, you idiot. No. I won't stand for this. What the heck? I completely missed the gem. Why? Oh my god. This is the most embarrassing run ever. First attempt was 51... I never attempted going for both gem and relic at the same time though. Yeah, it makes it in like ten times more difficult, doesn't it? Yeah, there you go. Get the yellow gem, you stupid bandicoot. It looks more gold than yellow, but still. Oh god. Okay. And now we have to do dynamite. The only soul will ever reach for the truth. The, uh... <laughs> pretty much, this, uh... The uh, Sene picture I have on the on this on the uh, t uh, the splits um, thing that that's basically me doing this run <laughs> like. Oh god! Wonder how I started the ship. Okay, good. I. Good. <laughs> I'm in mental mode, mode now. See what ending Johnny got. <laughs> I'm curious to see what his percentage was, you know? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what Johnny's percentage was at the end of this run, because that was a really short run.
saving that checkpoint. For the record, um, Sam Zero Suit Samus is um blue outfit, the one the one that's like the top and the and like the top and bottom, like color seven or eight, right? Mm -hmm. That's that that's that's the veteran fusion clear screen. Uh. Clear time. Hour how, one hour three minutes. Your rate for collecting items is he sped for the game, so only fifteen percent. Hmm. Is this some brain scratch or? Yes. He said he was doing a low percentage run. Let me see what the other images are for clearing fusion. Okay, now we go. Actually, no, I. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. Because we want to get the checkpoint in the. the jump off last. Okay, easy. I am not speeding this. I, I don't know what anything is. Okay, let's see. Over eight, let's see, over eight, over four hours at a hard with under 100% and, and, and the only ending for easy. Let's see, it's just a picture of her like, 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 flexing a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Between two and four hours on a hard with under a hundred percent. It's her in her suit with the helmet off, and she's just like saying like things via the camera. Hmm. Alright, cool. Under two hours on a hard with under a hundred percent is the image Johnny got. Okay. Over two hours on a hard with a hundred percent. More anime pictures of her. Yeah. Oh. Over four hours on normal, under 100%. Ugh. Not much, not much of a speed on this. Got to be honest. I thought you could stand something a ponytail, Jesus. Wait, what? I thought you could stand something a ponytail. Yeah, right. Oh, the mic. how am I alive? Yeah. Oh, good. Jump! Oh, that's a lot of fun. Very, very enemy. Is it Okay, I, I... God damn, I just realized in one year, Fusion's gonna be a hundred... It's gonna be... No, <laughs> yeah, almost a hundred. It's gonna be, um... Oh, what's it called? It's gonna be, uh, 20 years old. I was gonna say, it's a hundred years old. We're like, old men. <laughs> We're old men. Back in my day. 
Ran found a random compilation of Game Over to Metroid. Oh god. Whoa, in the first game. She just fades in the second in, in Metroid 2. <laughs> Suit explodes. It's just the, it's just it's just the power. Suit explodes, you know. I mean, at least it's nowhere near as brutal as the prime the prime game. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Have you seen what the game over screens are like in the Prime games? <laughs> yes. Well, I, I've seen Prime 3 specifically. And uh, you talked about it uh, at nauseum. Life support system offline. Game over. Wait. Okay, and then, and then, oh. Uh, Oh, really off of the kind of scream. <laughs> in the other game, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the 2D games, it's like her suit just explodes. Yeah, it's like boom. It's like, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, God. Round two. Fight. Warning. Oh, it's like a hard flatlining. <laughs> her, her, her bar. It was even more fall bullet, but it didn't explode. <laughs> Okay, now I have the cock and balls. Now I do. I can push Rex through. Energy is depleted. I love how you can get five items at once. Man, Hunters is came was really anticlimactic. <laughs> Hunters? Yeah. yeah. Baby T, Fine you're in the way. Okay. Plan three. Game over and blood. Yeah, that's a fun image. Oh. Like the spreading, spreading blood puddle. Ugh. Yeah, boy. Then of course the corruption meme, where he you let the the, the page on overwhelm you. All right, you turn into Dark Samusa. Look at you, why not become Dark Samus? And then the game over by corrupt terminal corruption and shows phase on blood. Oh, I was so close. I'm like that. Very disturbing. <laughs> you got 4440 on Ski Craze, I assume? That's a really, yeah, that's a really good time. Oh, she's laughing. I always found it weird how this stage had no boxes in it. It definitely feels very last minute. Oh, 
like yeah. Adam or somebody like, like, hey. Hey. No! No! I don't want a sapphire! Oh, you dick. It was the very last level made. Yeah, fair enough. I'll do the time thing. Oh. Now I have to... Now I have to revisit Dynamite, uh, like, two times. Oh. That, well, that that just ruins the whole point of going to Agapus Rex early. I don't know if one time funny. Okay, we're going to set out the time. We're going to have a Ski Crace is the second last level to be made. Hmm. Also, can I let's see if I can do this? No, not that. I know you can stand on those things. Yeah. They have to turn on me. Oh! That's not- that's not good. I love this. <laughs> there is no point. I mean, it's funny. Oh no, oh no, I forgot, I need to dark. I need to dark on the second one. Karma. Yeah! I just love that you can do this, it's just- it's just hilarious. <laughs> oh. oh god. Alright. Please don't hit me. <laughs> okay, thank god. <laughs> this isn't really any faster, it's just amusing. Jump on this! Oh my god. I can't even see where I am. Wonder if Crash does the helicopter after getting out of the shower. I mean, I, I'm assuming you mean the uh, tornado spin. That'd be pretty funny. Also, I love how Entropy just doesn't have his, like, I don't know if it's just my copy, but he doesn't say the line unless I go backwards. I'm not even gonna comment on that. <laughs> it's a glitch in the PAL version. Okay, fair. Oh good. Oh yeah, 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 it's also bigger in the uh, American version as well. It's also, I think, it, I think it's the NTSC size in uh, um, Insane Trilogy as well. Is it Jason still here? Jason died. Oh. 
I'm forgetting level design. Probably a platinum, right? Oh, no, okay, fair. I should try to glitch my tornado zigzag above those. <laughs> oh my god. I probably shouldn't have uh, uh, pressed enter because I still need to go back for Agabus Rex again. Oh well. Here's a random question for the chat. Um, what are your favorite uh, level tropes in this game? I'd probably go with a. Uh, I'd probably go with future. I like the future levels. me on the chat now. <laughs> hey mom, I'm famous. <laughs> oh god. Dude, having a mask actually screwed me over though. That's amazing. Look, Mom, no zigzagging. Oh, God. Alright. Let's do this properly this time. Uh, dude. That probably messed up the cycle. Yeah, do you have any uh, fav favor like favorite level types? Just out of curiosity. I also really like. I mean, most of the platforming stuff are pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's... I like you like feature levels too. Yeah, um, I wanted to... Um, that's what I was trying to do uh, before. Uh, like, get all the gems and the crystal and dynamite and start the stuff in Agapus Rex immediately. Uh, that's what I was trying to do, but I got a sapphire, sapphire instead. Um, that kind of sucked. Maybe favourites are Egyptian. Yeah, I'd, I'd say... Egyptian and... Uh, I'd say, yeah, I'd say Future, Egyptian, and uh, Arabian are, like, probably the best design levels in the game. Like, those three definitely stand out to me. You have stuff like, especially when you have, when uh, the Egyptian levels have stuff like Tomb Raider, which is a really iconic level. Wait. 
Okay, good. I don't trust the I don't trust the original games. Okay, I'm gonna try this. This is gonna be a mistake. Yeah, that that is so much harder to do in this version. No, no, I, I know, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm gonna be doing a Tomb Raider um, after this because I'm gonna get the gold relic and the. You're supposed to zigzag. Oh, oh, that's what. Okay. Okay. That's how it works. It's easier on this version, really. Because I, hmm. I mean, I don't really know how, um, it, how to do it properly in this version, but. I can pretty much do it without fail on Ensign Ensign Trilogy now. Jump, please. I mean, fair enough, but I was, I, I was just... Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I, I was just trying to be fancy. Are there many differences between, it, like, in the PAL uh, versions in Crash 1 and 2, or is it just, is that just, like, mainly Crash 3 that had the differences? Because I, I haven't really heard much about the stuff in 1 or 2, if there is any difference. Oh god. Stormy Ascending Crash 1 and NTSC is stable. I mean, f fair enough. <laughs> but, um... Drop shadow. Wait, what? Crash goes slightly faster on power, so time some time trials have been made one second or two harder. Ah, uh, okay. Skillage. Yo! Okay, I'm gonna wait just to be safe. That is amazing. Yeah, I haven't really heard much about Crash 1 and 2 on pa uh, PAL. Differences I know are in common among the three games. Yeah, like just. And that just. That's just like natural differences between. American and part and uh, 
PAL versions for any game. So that's not too surprising! Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that too. The jump again. I didn't know that Crash jumped high until you mentioned it, but yeah. I went too far. The kind of broken crash run because TNTs exploded a lot faster. I don't. Did I? I don't think I did. Good. Oh, I, I have no idea. I, I would have to look back. Oh god, why? Yeah, I hope I'm fine. No. This is probably like the worst run I've ever had of this game. Well, actually no, I, I know that's not true. <laughs> Oh my god, how am I alive? Okay. I'm not gonna chance that. Okay, go now. Uh, this is a mistake. <laughs> Somehow that worked out. Yeah, I'm trying to keep that in mind. I'm trying to like keep the tornado spin going as much as I can. It's kind of, it's a little bit weird to adjust back to that because you can't really do that in Insane. Like you need to just kind of mash square. Whereas in the in this game you can prolong it if you know how to. Which I'm not great at, but still. Yeah. Hopefully this goes well. Oh, come on. Green gem skipping level 25 without even double jumping? Oh, man. Oh, come on. Okay, I can't slide jump, I need to... I need to yeah. Unless that happens. Oh my god.
I should stress again, this is not even a speed run anymore. <laughs> No, it's fine. I'm not gonna get invincibility anyway. Okay, this is the moment of truth. <laughs> yeah, basically. Good! That's exactly why I wanted to happen. <laughs> uh. What? I feel like the worst player of this game like that's ever ever lived. It doesn't even matter if I have masks either, because the water's gonna kill me anyway, so it's like... Me. Me. Alright, come on. Don't mess up the jump. No, I'm... <sighs> I'm so sorry. This is... This gameplay is awful. Like, I, I am... I am so sorry you have to watch this garbage. I'm, like, doing every single thing wrong. I mean, I will say this, this just goes, this uh, proves my point further of um, running the original, like, speedrunning the original games is exponentially harder than it is to run Endsane Trilogy, at least in my opinion. I... I would make the most fancy to alpha versions version of Crash 3. That's I mean I, I am enjoying I am enjoying them so I appreciate it. Appreciate the uh, emotes. Putting some life into the chat. My state Oh uh, well fair enough. Still annoys me though. What? <laughs> uh. I don't even why I'm bothering getting that. It's like it's not even gonna save like much of anything. It's cool though, dang it. No, don't fall down. Oh my god. Killed by the mummy. Oh no. Whoa!
is jealous. <laughs> I mean, this this is one of the first games I played growing up, so I mean, can't be that jealous. I mean, I know it doesn't look like it because I'm failing so hard, but you know, still. First game. It is a good first game to start with. Oh god. First game you've ever played. Yeah, eight. You're two years old, oh man. My first game was, I think, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Color. It's either that or Mario 64. I forget which came first. I'm pretty sure this is the first uh, PS1 game I played though. God. Oh no, I know I know Mario 64 came out before this, but I, I mean more so uh what what you call it? Like the the order of like how I played them. Thing. Why did you not double jump there? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just not gonna bother slide jumping after that. I'm just gonna do a normal double jump. Okay. Yeah. Again, uh, the uh, Sane 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 I whatever how you say it. The uh, picture I have on the on the live split is literally just been me this entire this entire run. Doing this run too. Are you uh, doing time travel on the Tomb Raider specifically? Oh, good. Oh, good. <sighs> Are you finished? I wait. 120. Nice. Were you going for the death route as well? <laughs> Through the death route, okay. I really should have been done with the game by this point. This is awful. Oh, you had the crash dash as, as well. Oh, right. That's a fair point. Oh, 
I didn't think I'd be this bad at this. Go down. Don't get the gem. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Jeez. Man. Oh, we still have Area 51 to do as well. Oh. about it when it gets work. I'll say this, uh, I think this is a, if this is, I, I, I will say with like utmost certainty that this is the, this is the uh, hardest game I speedrun yeah speed run yeah what up words because I, I had a much easier time speed running crash 2 than this <laughs> sure we'll go with that <laughs> I can take a bit of a break from all the hard stuff for a little bit. Jeez, like... Man, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like the originals are just way harder than N uh, NS2. Is that just me that feels that way? I mean, Crash 1 is like no-brainer that's harder, but... Like, Crash 2 and 3, I feel like just, I feel like they, they're just way harder in the original form in the originals than they are in the remake.
Okay, I don't know the best route for this, but... That should be platinum, actually. Yeah, nice. I think what I think what this has made me realize though is that I think I I, I feel like I prefer playing this game more casually. One twenty four seventy three without the crash dash. I think that's still pretty good. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. I might do a, a second run, but this is just like speed running. Like this game is just really exhausting and uh, just. And, like really difficult to be consistent with um, and I feel I feel like I just prefer playing this game more casually because I don't have to worry about how fast I'm doing like, I don't know like th this this game is just because you prefer going for patterns fair enough I I, I, can, I brain fired that I didn't know if I was missing a box but this is, I did want to speedrun the this and Crash 2 at some point just to see how it would go. Um, like I, I definitely, I definitely say Crash 2 is the uh, more comfortable game to speedrun overall. It's still, it's still really difficult for its own reasons, but. Um, Speed run one of the best time, that's fine, but having to rush the entire game there. Yeah, that's basic that's basically how I stand. Like it's again, it's insanely difficult to speedrun this game and be con consistent. Um and especially with all the different playstyles, you have to keep switching back back and forth between different styles of gameplay and like rejig your brain and all that. And uh it's not the easiest thing in the world. Like, I, I wouldn't, I, w I wouldn't necessar necessarily say that Crash Two, like speedrunning Crash Two, is easy. Um, either, like that's still difficult in its own way. Like I said. But I feel like it's a lot. It's I'd I'd say compared to this, it's a lot more easy to get into because the, it's not as much. You don't have to worry about relics or anything, and you don't have to um, really worry too much about other playstyles. It's a, it's more straightforward in that way. Even though I like. I, I like Crash 3 more overall, um, I'd say that Crash 2 is a, I'd say Crash 2 is the better game to speedrun because of this, but that's just me. Yeah, I, I, Again, I I might I might do a second run, but I I gotta be honest, my interest in doing that is a uh, kind of non-existent. <laughs> so I, I, it might not even happen. I don't wanna I don't wanna be playing. I I don't wanna be running these games for like the rest of my life. 
I, there's other stuff I want to stream. <laughs> Bingo sync guys. Yeah, I, I will look into that. Oh god, we're back here, really? Free bingo. Nice. But yeah, I agree though. Uh, doing individual levels, like seeing how uh, how uh, fast you can go. Uh, th there's a there's a thrill with that. Like, that's fun. But uh, it's uh, like doing a whole game is yeah, it doesn't really work. Thank you. Yeah, the more the more I've done this, the more I've realised that speedrunning, I don't think is really for me. Like I, I know, and a lot of it comes down to or oh, I, I, it's too hard, and that's true. But it, you have to spend so much time playing the same games over and over, or game, and. I don't know if I... I, I, I don't want to do that. It was, wor it was worth a shot though. I, I wanted to give it a try just to see how well I do. And the answer is not very. <laughs> Mr. Shark. Okay. Yeah, not just that speed on stage. Talk about frames, also based speed on you, basically throwing away your own stuff. Yeah, basically. They had to. This is one part that you had to fill out. Yeah, it's um, it's a massive time sink speed running. Like you had to learn like the ins and outs of how the game works, every individual level, all the skips, how to basically break the game in two, and uh, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> if uh, I'll say this, it's definitely made me like. Doing these runs has definitely made me appreciate speedrunning a lot more. Like, just the amount of time people have to put into it and all that. Like, major props for, um, like this, for the speedrunning community because I just don't have that kind of patience. Because I'm gen generally a pretty patient guy, but I, yeah, after a, after. After a point, I, I would just, I, I would just not be able to do this anymore. Like, like it comes a point where it just stops, be stops becoming fun for me, and at that point, like, why should I keep doing it? Uh, 
again, I got other games to play and stream, and uh, I don't, I don't want to be dwelling on this forever. But hey, that's why it's for a certain like community, so. Speed, speed, speed running isn't someone that anyone can just can just do on a whim. Well, I should I should uh, I should stress speed run on a whim and expect like stellar results more so. Anyone can like do a speed run, but whether or not it's going to be good is uh, another thing entirely. I'm surprised. I, I don't know if this is good enough. Okay, I'll take it. And now everyone's favorite stage. I will save again just in case. You nerf yourself till you get a hard, harder time. I assume that's what you mean. That's pretty funny. Oh yeah, I saw that it was supposed to be a death route. Okay, let's do this. This is gonna go so horribly wrong. Because I can't see. Wow. Yeah, it'll be very in interesting to see that. That was weird, it took a while for that to work. If I get this on my first try, I'll, I will be amazed. Yeah, I'm trying. That's the plat. I mean, gold is good enough, but platinum would be would be great. Oh, good. Oh good. Thanks. Thanks!
I'm sorry if this is really boring for boring to watch for the record. Yeah. I just I just want to and like finish the game at this point. There's one there. No! Dun 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 I like how there was a like unused death root thing for this uh for the motorcycle levels. Like, where would you even use that? I mean, I guess this stage, but like, yeah. Oh yeah, it's um, I are you talking about what? There's the me the medley that came out. That's uh, the jet ski, biplane, and uh, underwater, I think. He just did what he was told to do. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. It, I just, I I just wonder like where um. Yeah, it's it's weird how medieval never got a death for it. I always felt that like double header was a level that just it feels like it was supposed to have a death for it. It probably wasn't ever like planned to, but it's like it feels like it's supposed to be there. Can I make death for it? Yeah, probably. Still though, it it, it feels weird that them pre con pre console quality. Yeah. It's still though. It, it it feels weird that there aren't any death roots in the medieval levels. Like I, again, I, I feel, especially since Double Header is in Warp Room Three, I feel like it. I feel like that stage should have one. Like I don't know. I I just always found that weird. Like uh, I mean. They are the first ones to be made. Yeah, I can get that. Wiz and Toad Village were two of the first six levels to be made for Crush Free. Yeah, yeah, um, is it true? I've heard that, um, I've heard that G Wiz 
used to be like level one until I got switched around with Toad Village. I is that true or is that like garbage? Because <laughs> that's what I've heard. second. Oh, is that Scrappy? I was w wondering when you were going to show up. <laughs> How long have you been alone? I mean, uh, Jason was here for a while, but I've been alone for a while as well. Uh, can you read the chat now? Because uh, people have been talking and then my concentration has been has had to been like moving back and forth. Uh, Doctor underscore Antonio. I'm presuming that's the Antonio that joined our Discord group recently. Um, says G Wiz the level. Even had a crash two style trapdoor entrance for the bonus, and it was a completely different run. Yeah, completely different one. He's not alone, Antonio says, and then crash emoji. Nice. Yeah, I've seen the trapdoor uh, entrance to the bonus. It's interesting that they uh, removed that. Yeah, I am assuming that was just used as a placeholder, but still. Yeah, everyone's favorite stage. I think I, when I got my gold relic on the Insane Trilogy version, I think I, I I'm also beginning to think I glitched my game out by mistake. Oh really? Because there's no way I could have gotten a gold relic on my first try. Well, it is uh, a lot easier on that version. Nah, nah, restart. In the alpha, there are still the crates for the bonus section. Oh yeah, right. Cause um, I play I played that, and uh, in the G Wiz, you literally can't get all the boxes because yeah, the uh, the alpha alpha bonus boxes are still there. You just can't get to them. Yeah, the motorcycle levels are way easier to uh, get the get the uh, um, times for in NS2. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, cause like I I was pulling my hair out doing road road crash like an hour ago, and I'm pulling my hair out doing this. about those crates on YouTube? Probably. I've watched a lot of random, like, crash stuff. So how you doing, Scrappy? In between. Yeah, fair. Oh, dear. How are you? Um, I'm doing fine, minus failing at a uh, cash banuka. Good grief. Yeah. Um, I can't check that right now. I don't know what big OC watches to begin with, so I can't even verify it. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, why would you put the box there? Ugh. It's okay, take your time. Yeah. Um, also, did you uh, see... I, I'm assuming you saw the DMs earlier about uh, Geeky voice acts. Oh, I didn't. I didn't check my my uh, um, email account yet. Oh, okay. I have had a day. Oh, I hate this. Well, I guess they didn't send me anything yet. Okay, the, the, it'll probably be there by, like, tomorrow or so. It is tomorrow for them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how does it feel to be, uh, to be? um, done with Smash? Bittersweet. Yes. <laughs> That's one way to put it. We're gonna need to find something to talk about now. <laughs> what are we gonna have our late night discussions about now? Smash Ultimate Deluxe! Please no. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see, like, Source Gaming. Uh, I'm not reading that question aloud. <laughs> I, I would like to know how it feels to Smash, but unfortunately I haven't had that luxury before. Say. Feeling smashed right now is my train of thought. Um, yeah. What are they? Oh yes, I want to see like Source Gaming or someone like just do another, just do another character poll now that we, now like a month after Sora drops, because I'd like to see what the, I'd like to see what the um, just a, I just want a snapshot of, excuse me. I just want a snapshot of like the fandom psyche right now. Yeah, I mean, Sora was like the like the number one pick for a lot of places. So I wonder, like, who would? I, I mean, maybe Master Chief, but I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I, it makes me wonder, like, who would be like the like the up the top running guy now? Depends on the region. Yeah. Um, Dr. Antonio said you can still get gold even after falling through a pit if you play the level well. Mm. Well, I don't trust myself enough. That is... I don't trust That's... you either. <laughs> that is good to know, though. Let's see. Good. Um, yeah, so I guess whoever the next most requested character, well, yeah, really it's just depend on the region and also... Forgetting the fact that Nintendo probably keeps tabs on, like, online fervor. Their official ballot data is, like, nearly a decade out of date at this point, so... Yeah, and I feel... Uh, I It's also kind of hard to gauge uh, polls, like, exactly, because um, the, there are so many different... The, there are so many di different, like, Smash polls for different... Uh, communities or whatever um and like obviously the the results are going to vary depending on um what the com community is so it's kind of hard to gauge that like fully i don't know yeah i mean then that's that's operating with the assumption that all the all the poll voters are you know acting ethically yeah <laughs> And, yeah, this goes without saying, but <laughs> Antonio trusts you, Harry. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Oh, God. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, so, yeah, like, even taking a, taking the risk of poll voters, not always voting honestly aside, yeah, um, goes without saying, but polls aren't the be-all, end-all all be all for really gauging actual like desire because well mm. people who place not all people who play smash vote online nah nah there's more people like, that just play the games casually and just like 
do, like play with the family and friends and not not really worry about that stuff. I do wonder how Terry Bogard fared on the ballot. Yeah. T Terry seems more like a character that Sakurai himself just wanted to put in. If but... you told me SNK paid Nintendo to put him in, I'd believe you. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I guess speaking seriously, like, there's, like, SNK's output has, like, a pretty large base in Asia and Latin America, so someone was voting for him. Yeah. I'd imagine so. Uh, did you just say family? <laughs> <laughs> what is the Fast and the Furious of video games? <laughs> oh god. Okay, I know there's a box that's gonna show up like up here. Oh, good. I should call it Area 69 because you always get screwed while you're playing it. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, screw off box. The game is so colorful. Yeah, it, it is. I say about the darkest level in the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! I didn't get anything. I, I didn't get Oof. any of the book. Oh my god. My condolences. That's not even a sapphire. Nice. Ugh. At least I can just restart trial. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so I'd like to see Source Gaming like just. Had yet another poll. Let's see how things turn up. It, yeah, it'll have like no bearing on the next game's character choices because that poll, that poll itself, would be several years out of date. But I feel like the only way it would that would be the case if like a poll mattered is if they do like another ballot, and uh, I doubt they'd want to do that for a long time. Like I, I don't, ex I don't expect them to be even thinking about Smash, another Smash game for like, at least half a decade from now. Wait, the I'd funny thing is that the speed, excuse me, Antonio says the funny thing is that the speed limit is 155 miles per hour, and then there's also speeding enforced by Sheriff Neo Cortex. The cops are there to make sure you're going at least 155. That's hilarious. But yeah, uh, I don't know how you feel about that, but like, I, I really don't expect another Smash game for a long time. It's dependent on whenever the Switch's successor comes out, because Nintendo's gonna yeah. want that money quickly. I think it also depends on if they want to make a new game or just port Ultimate, because like making a sequel, like a full-on new game, is. Uh, I, I don't know how you even, like, begin to plan for that. Uh. Oh my god. I kinda hate this. They really should have given you a reverse button. I know that's not how bikes work, but... Yeah. So. I've been on this level for like 30 minutes. Why? I... Once again, this is like the worst speedrun of this game anyone's ever done. Oh, that's a long message. Love how Rockstar is finally re-releasing the mobile ports of Grand Theft Auto, Vi yeah, yeah. Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas and calling it Definitive Edition or something. Crash emoji. <laughs>
I'm not, I haven't really played GTA, but uh, it is nice that, we did it, that they're doing that. Is there a reason they can't re-release the original PS2 versions? Uh, I have no idea. I didn't just miss a box, did I? I wasn't paying attention. Um, I think I'm behind, so was it, do you think it would have been your third box or your fourth? Like, third, I think? I think you got it. Mm. Oh, good, I missed the speed boost. Oh, well, it, it doesn't even matter anyway. They're quote-unquote remastering them, Antonio says. I had my mic, you no, know, I had all of you muted during the presentation, the Smash presentation, so oh, yeah. lucky me, I guess. I'm still surprised at how little new me costumes we got. Like, three is like not my, that many. Okay, alright, um, people often theorize that because of how. Uh, I hate Smash theorizing, but yeah. people kind of just pondered that because of how Volume 2 was kind of announced to begin with, of like, here's five more slots. Oh, wait, there's a six slot. Yeah. People were kind of like, hmm, maybe the sixth character was a last minute addition. Um, and, uh, yeah, I remember. I was, yeah, I remember hearing like. Um, like something about the website being weird and people like thought maybe we'll get another character <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, no, that's bonus character theory. That's something entirely different and oh, okay, fair. oh Yeah, that's yeah, that's like bonus to the actual bonus to the volume to ads. We know it's theory um, People I, were like kind yeah. of wondering if like fighter pack number 11 was just a last minute addition in general, and uh, I mean, given that we know Sora was apparently in negotiation for years, and the paltry amount of meat costumes that came with his wave, mm. and the fact that Sakurai kind of only specified the quote unquote fan, excuse me, fan favorites pass yeah, for cool. Kazuya's wave, I, I do wonder. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can't wait for GTA 5 for PS6. <laughs> 2027. Yeah, right. I think the motorbike is slower in the North American version. If you try and pass the first UFO from the left, it will smack you away. Yeah. Smacky smacky. Let's see. So, yeah, I mean... It is a little weird. Just just three characters. I thought we were gonna get six to kinda of balance everything out. Yeah. Three me costumes what I meant to say. Yeah. Like I demanded blood and Sakura gave me none. <laughs> <laughs> I would have taken like the crash uh, outfit. <laughs> the the, uh, the um uh, co the uh, costume guy. Like, play that as the a um Oh, no. That'd be funny. You, you could make the um, the um, what should we call it? The megaphone like the me gunner or something. Me like just the me inside of the man inside of the crash mascot costume. Yeah, that would be like horrific looking, but it would be amazing. Yeah, that's that is unfortunate. Yeah, that would have been funny. Um, yeah, I, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if Doom Slayer was supposed to be bundled with, um, with, uh, the Dovahkiin last time around. Mm. It seems like Nintendo and Bethesda were okay with just kind of spreading out the characters across waves. Yeah. That realization when Microsoft technically has more content in this game than some other third parties. 
Yeah. <laughs> Also, we can actually make excuse me. You can say the statement. I wish Roxas was in here as Sora's Echo Fighter, and not sound completely crazy. That's... Yeah. Oh man, that's a, this is time to be alive. Like um, that's that's surreal. Yeah. I can say that, and not sound like I'm tripping balls. <laughs> oh my god. No. God. I don't know if this is gonna work. Why would you put a pox there, you jerks? Okay, I'll just keep going. Ah, dang, this level is nightmarish. And now I thought, yeah, just restart. Why would they make this level? Remember, this was supposed to be uh, for Pete's sake. This was supposed to be accessed through via secret exit originally. Yeah. Uh, so if you lost, you get kicked out and have to go through the other level to get to this level. Yeah. Like, good I, grief. I always, yeah, I always assumed the alien sign was meant to take you here because like, it, it never really made sense to me that it went to Hot Coco. Like, what, what's the correlation there? Vehicle level to vehicle level. That's basically it. Yeah. And presumably just an act of mercy on Naughty Dog's part. Mm. It's also funny because uh, this, the, oh god, the, the, there used to be what well, used to be, um, there, there's a uh, unused. Death fruit theme for the motorcycle stages, and I, I assume it was going to be used for this stage. I'm trying to imagine how that would have that would have been interesting. Hmm. Oh dear. Being said in, said in chat. Fun fact: the warp portal. Take the warp portal images for Orange Asphalt in Area 51 are literally, literally the same as road crashes. They're just a palette swap of Area 51 having a UFO slapped on top. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Part of the, excuse me. The part of the level shown in these street levels is the start of road crash in the warp orb, like when you're in the hub. <clears throat> oh. Okay. I would love oh. a time twister playset. Okay, screw it. I, I'll I'll go. I'll get the uh, relic and the uh, and the uh, chat. Um, win the level jump. Damn it, one box. That should definitely be a uh, gold, though. Yeah. See, like, 144, and that's, that's still not a platinum. Like, that's insane. Ugh. At least the worst of it's done. I can just take my time now. Oh 
I'll just, yeah, I'll just take it slowly. If you want to be evil, you can like apply the live system to these levels when you fall into a pit. Oh god. I'm more confident in doing everything in, on Rings of Power than I am at like, this stage. I think Rings of Power is the only level in War to where I got my bottom kicked more from the remake version. The original. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. Not that the plane handled well to begin with, but... Yeah. It's like a bad little what? Fidgety? Uh, yeah, I feel like Ensane is easier than the originals overall, but it does have some weird differences that make some things harder instead. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> Excuse me, playing levels shoot a lot better in the remake. I also, if I went back to play Warp, the original version of Warped again, I'd probably agree, because it's a real stages being bullet hell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's a good thing that doesn't matter. Yeah, it's much easier when I can just take my time with this. Okay, thank god, I thought I, I thought I missed those for a second. Oh, okay, we're done with this stupid stage. Most of the game is done now. <sighs> I will say this, I am a little bit disappointed that there's like literally no uh, Toho Project stuff in Smash, like not even like a spirit. Like that's my only real complaint. I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? Um, no, I said my only real complaint with Smash is that there's literally no representation of Toho, like, anywhere. Like, not even just, like, a couple spirits. I find that to be a bit of a letdown. So that's, like, the only thing I can really think of. I don't have a bazooka. I don't have a. I didn't. I haven't fought engine yet. Oh good. Yeah, I it didn't, is. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. I don't understand these hitboxes. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna say? It is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get the 
crate on the TNT and just run away. Yeah, mm. I'm probably, I'm, I'd probably just do that. What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised that for a franchise that leans so heavily on Japanese yeah. history as it does, that's all the indie rep, the quote unquote indie representation hails from the West. Yeah. That is like, interesting. Tell how I get, because it just just generally doesn't do official crossovers that often. Right. I, I, yeah, I mean, I guess so. It kind of surprised, like, Cave Story didn't get anything. It's, it's, like, I think that company, excuse me, that IP might not even be owned by a Japanese. Actually, isn't the Callus based in Japan? No. The Callus is based in California. Okay. Japanese IP American owner. <clears throat> oh. oh! That was a weird jump. I wasn't trying to do it like that. Maybe slide to destroy it next time. Yeah, I'm just doing really badly in this game today. Okay, I think I mentioned this, because who was it that mentioned it? Me or Jason, but you know, those little flipper saucer thing, platformer stuff. They look like those oh, what? Those heated platforms of death in the Crash 2. What the heck? I don't know what in happened the... there. What was I saying? The flipping platforms that you just jumped over, they look like the heated discs from the Crash 2 space station levels. Yeah. I'm assuming you're talking about the, uh, the saucer enemies, specifically? Um, well, I meant the platforms, but I guess oh, the okay. saucer enemies also qualify. Yeah. Yeah, the, the saucer enemies, I always thought they were, well, not always, because I, I play Crash 2 a lot later, but, um, I... I, I assume, like, they used a similar model to the, uh, heat platforms. Wait, am I crazy, or is the... Again, these enemies don't have names. I don't know. Like, the porcupine ones, did they have, like, an electric aura around them? Yeah. Like, I didn't notice that before. Maybe it was a trick of the lighting? Maybe. And everyone's favorite part of the stage. Oh god. They're called spinners for some reason. Yeah. The porcupine things. Oh. That's... odd. Yeah? Oh god, just go. And there's one here. Oof. Should be a. Uh... Okay, I need to stop being so rescue like that. Hold on, let me see just to make sure. Maybe I'm getting confused. Crash 1, 2, and 3 all have some camera-like enemies. Yeah, I like that too. I assume... I think the idea for the, uh, the ones in this stage are basically meant to be like... an enhanced version of the camera enemies from like 1, on, one and 2. Yeah, I think I'm seeing like a electric aura around the porcupine things. Hmm. Unless it's just them getting glistened by the mirror. Yeah, I don't know. The ones in Crash... Crash... Crash 2. 
can't be killed unless you sacrifice Aku Aku or have invincibility. Crush 23. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Are you talking about the uh, spike dudes? In the sewer levels? Um... I think they're in sewer levels. Mm. I, I, well, I know for a fact the spike... Yeah, yeah. I think those guys are the, the, those types of enemies are also in Crash One. The uh, ones that have spikes on them. The gap. Why do they keep adding those gaps at the end? Yeah. The ones in night levels. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why I, I figured. Nicely done. After all the crap we went through in, in like the previous stages, that I'm I'm very happy with how that future frenzy run went. Yeah, that's also why that's a reason why Crash Three is a, is my favorite of the trilogy because because the environments are so unique compared to like especially compared to one and two. Yeah, boy, best boss. <laughs> I'll, I don't think... I'll try a no-damage run, I doubt I'm gonna do it, though. That's why I like how you can barely hear the music in this. Yep, there we go. Ah. Hi, Akuka. <laughs> just chilling over there. <laughs> like how in the August 26th beta, you still weren't programmed to die, so you'd reach 0% HP and still be alive. That's pretty good. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I've been wondering this for the past few days as well, but how many characters are like are left that be like super heavy hitters that will like break the internet or whatever? Because I feel like we're really running low on that now. <clears throat> well, I couldn't give an objective answer because <laughs> I'm just looking at Crash dying. <laughs> The future level deaths are, like, really brutal. Yeah, I feel like something got, um... Like... Insane Trilogy just kind of uses the generic burn-to-death animation for these. Yeah. And that's, in some respects, more disturbing, but I feel like something's lost in the slow-down pace. Yeah, it's a lot... I'm psychotic. Yeah, yeah, because it's a lot more... immediate in this version. Like, you just get straight-up vaporized. Yeah, I got. I feel like that works better for the future levels and just kind of slowly turning into um, the burnt shell of a marshmallow. Yeah. Of course, some of these. Frankly, a lot of the stuff has nothing on Crash 4's death animations. Oh yeah, yeah. Crash 4 does uh, really great. Got really creative with it. Yeah, creative, let's go with that. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, a good, it's good to see that though, because for a long time Crash 3 was the uh, king in terms of how many death animations there were. So, it's about time it got topped. Oh god, I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Is that about gender equality? What? I don't want to read it. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm salty about not getting an animation of Coco losing her clothes to the Arabian swordsman. Where's gender equality? Yeah, no, I, I've heard that a lot. I, I understand why they didn't put that in, though. That, that, would, that would be kind of... Uh, <laughs> what happened to the camera though? That was weird. Finally, Crash is becoming a real 3D platformer. <laughs> I think I just... I puked a little saying that. Oh, man. Yeah, what even... Like, at this point, like, what even is a real 3D platformer? Like... Uh... Does it have RPG mechanics? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Can I do tower building? Yeah. <laughs> Like, what is what is a genre at this point? Yeah, I feel like there's a like genre genres like kind of bleed in together a lot lately, because um a lot of games have like RPG elements. So like, is every game just an RPG now? <laughs> All right. I can craft. There's crafting mechanics and everything. I guess I guess it's Animal Crossing now. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Um. At most, Coco could have gotten, like, a, I don't know, her hair getting chopped off, and she I runs can, away, like, that's... I can see that happening. That sounds like it would, it, would, it would have worked fine. Would have probably destroyed me emotionally, but that would work. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, that would probably, like... Oh, thanks, you, dude. I appreciate it. That's about as far as they could and probably should go. Yeah, we we don't you, you don't want to get into um, weird territory, let's say. Oh, you click, <laughs> nice. Spineless exuberant seahorse, spicy boy. That's the that is a username for the ages. I was just like, oh yeah, quote unquote, break the internet stuff. Well, I don't follow official polling or Twitter or whatnot, so I don't know what Nintendo. Nintendo knows this better than I do, but they'll they'll find someone. Like the beauty of Smash is that new video game characters are created every day, so that's true. Yeah, someone will float up to the top and stake their claim, like.
there's plenty. We'll at least break the internet at least one region. Yeah. Like, yeah, maybe we're running out of like those internationally popular Japanese characters, and even then, that's there's still plenty from the well to draw from. Oh yeah. Uh, like if they can get the ratings board to comply with them, or if they can comply with the ratings board, rather, something from Resident Evil would be fine. That would be interesting. Like I have no affinity for any of those generic humans, but they would be popular. Mm. Yeah, I don't have any opinion for that either, but I wouldn't mind seeing them in. I think it would, at least for me personally, I think it would be more of the I'm happy for the franchise than who specifically gets chosen. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Uh, honestly, I, I, I think apparently a lot of people just assumed that the flame in the final trailer was Dark Souls. So. Yeah, I thought that too. No, I thought it was Dark Souls because it looked like a campfire. It looked like the uh, bonfire thing. Sorry, bad enough we got Persona fans thinking they invented jazz. Now Dark Souls fans think they invented bonfires. Yeah. I'm I'm being mostly facetious, but like I thought it was Dark Souls. Um so yeah, that would break the internet. At least for a very specific contingent. Mm. Like Dark Souls is not the biggest fandom, but they they pay out. They uh they're pretty, um, they seem to be pretty, uh, passionate for my scene. But the people I've talked to that are, like, into the, like, the Souls games are, like, really into them. I mean, it'll be great, I guess, if nothing else, so we can have the Dark Souls of fighting game memes. Uh, uh. But you know, if we want the Dark Souls of fighting, is we can just add Crash. <laughs> yeah. Note: You need the booster pad to get that crate behind the pit if you're getting the ramp. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise you're not, you don't go far enough. I love the track. I love the music track in these stages. I, I will, I will stress that. The only thing that keeps me sane. Yeah. Surprised they've never made up. A... Actually, wait. I'm surprised. That, like in the 20 plus years of Crash Racing games, they never really got a stage based off of these levels. I guess. Oh. I guess Dingo Canyon was close. Yeah, I, I think Dingo Canyon, I think, is uh, based on. It, I, I, it's, it is like heavily, heavily based on these, so there's that. The slap drum is the same as in in the Egyptian levels. You're welcome, Crash Emote. <laughs> uh. Um, yeah, break the internet. You know, yeah, Crash. Um. Yeah. So I feel, probably, yeah. probably one of the handful of Western picks that would at least get at least some level of recognizability in Japan. Uh, yeah. GTA, like I don't think oh. it would happen, but that would break the internet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would. I, I, yeah. I mean, I'll say if I could use a San Andreas theme on a Smash stage, that would be that'd be nice. Yeah, there are some things I just. I don't know. I mean, it's difficult though because Sora kind of makes things changed a little bit in terms of like what we think is possible. Because, like, everyone thought that Sora was just beyond reach. But I feel like he's probably the closest we're ever going to get to anything outside of video games. Um, <clears throat> as long as Sakurai is overseeing, yeah, probably. Um... Yeah. So I feel like the the moment we end up getting stuff like Goku Shrek and stuff like that, I feel I feel like uh, I, I was about to say other things for a minute. I, I feel like at that point Smash has kind of lost its identity and kind of just I don't know lost the plot. Like that, I, so you yeah. argue it already has lost the plot. <laughs> <laughs> like it, just, like when you start doing like what what. What they're called like fourth party characters or like cartoon characters and whatnot. Like that just isn't really Smash anymore.
don't know. The video, the adherence of video games only is pretty much the only thing keeping Smash from becoming, well, the little big planet. Yeah. Um. Pixar like, already it's already Mugen, but it could be Mugen or. Yeah, it's starting to. F Smash Ultimate is, st is already starting to feel like Mugen ish in, in terms of like how crazy the, the um, roster is. I love how Pixar already had access to ray tracing before 2011. That's a. Uh, yeah, that's uh, That's kind of crazy. If I knew what ray tracing was, I, my mind would be blown right now. It's some. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's some stuff with the PS5 or something. I think. Crash, your teeth are bigger than your head, your eyeballs. Yeah. Thing. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. There's there's characters. I'm not sure if they'd ever get in, but there's a few characters and franchises that I think would at least have some decent, resp uh, decent response at least in my neck of the woods. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's the elephant in the room because it is now apparently the most successful fighting game franchise of all time, but Mortal Kombat. Mm. So if like, Ed Boon wants it, so if Nintendo's willing to take a complete... What's the word? Take a complete borderline non-entity in Japan and deal with the inev inevitable toning down, which Netherrealm has done themselves before, then, yeah, I can see it happening. Yeah, the only problem I, I see with that is uh, uh, people taking issue with uh, a Mortal Kombat character being toned down. Which I can understand, but if you're gonna put it into Smash, it's, and uh, that's gonna have to be like uh, you, you're gonna have to do that. You, you you can't have like something super bloody in Smash. It just it's not the kind of game it is. Antonio says basically it's a new well. First of all, ray tracing was introduced to the public with the 20 series GPUs from Nvidia. Basically, it's a new way of handling reflections that makes everything look way more realistic. Ah. Uh, Thank okay. you. Okay. Reflections, lighting, and stuff. So you're saying that, like, the saliva in my mouth could reflect off of my... <laughs> my love interest in the next Quantic Dream video game. Oh my god. You know they would do some crazy, stupid nonsense like that. Probably. Uh, so, yeah, sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, it's a good thing I don't play those games. I I don't I don't, don't want to not I'm not knocking anyone that plays that, but I I have no interest in those games. Um. So yeah, I guess to go back on the topic of more well, combat, sort of like yeah, compromises would have to be made and. You either accept that or you don't. If Bayonetta has to have her inner windows toned down, if Sora can't have Disney characters, and if, like, one day, knock on wood, Doom Slayer gets in, he's not going to be ripping people in, in two. Nah, there's no way. Like, that's just... The Pornhub tab you have open on your phone will reflect your sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the plot of No More Heroes 4. Oh, yeah. And yeah, speaking of No More Heroes, yeah, Travis gets in, he's gonna get toned down. He's not gonna be using his magical shaky weight to heal himself. Yeah. That's oh just the God. nature of the beast. <clears throat> like, and, like, Netherrealm has already toned down Mortal Kombat characters for a, a less than M rating situation before. I don't think anyone threw a hissy fit when Scorpion showed up in Injustice. Please don't shoot me down. Dang, I was right. These levels are bullet hell. Yeah. I also forgot uh, to uh, about barrel roll, so that didn't help either. I keep on forgetting you can do that in these levels. Yeah. You have to press square to do it uh, in this in this version, which makes me have to do a really weird um, thing on my hand. 
Like, this doesn't feel natural natural to control at all. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know about the biggest names and to some degree, like, I say this as a crash fan, so I don't really get to talk, but... Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not solely interested in the biggest names, and right. even Crash at this point will probably consider a step down from Kingdom Hearts, Tekken, Minecraft, and Final Fantasy, so... Yeah, I, I don't think Crash would be quite to that level. He would get people talking, and I think he'd... Uh, I don't know if he'd break the internet, but he definitely... Um, it'll, it'll have people, um, like, interested. Um, so, like, I mean, there's that, but, yeah, I, I don't think he, w he would get, like, a Steve or a Sora reaction, like, I think, yeah, I think that's, like, the, that kind of reaction is, is kind of just left for very specifically super, super popular characters. He get it because a bunch of people would think he's owned by Sony. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're getting a PlayStation character! <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, another one character I, I, I mean, I could be proven wrong, but I, I really don't see them doing this. But Kratos is a character I, I just don't see happening. That seems like very, okay, very just too out there. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. It just I seemed... didn't think Sora was gonna happen, so who knows? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Kratos. J I think it's a mix of being like, like a Sony character, um, and the fact that he's just insanely violent as well. I guess I guess Doom Slayer would like be like a similar role to that, but mm, I, I don't know. I don't know. Kratos is violent, but not as violent as he used to be. I don't think violence would be the real problem and just be owned by another competitor that isn't Microsoft and I'm not sure what God of War standing is in Japan. Yeah. I mean, there's that and uh, Sony seem to be um, kind of content just kind of focusing on their own. Like... I feel like if Sakurai asked, they wouldn't say no, but I'm not sure if Nintendo would say yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I say in the game with two Microsoft characters, I don't know. The future... Like, what's more? The future does scare me a lot. I really don't know how to do this. I was trying to wax lyrical about Kingdom Hearts, but... <sighs> The future scares you. Yeah, regardless of warnings or conventional logic, the future actually does scare me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually having taken a closer listen to the lyrics of Simple and Clean, um, I'd have to listen to it again because I'm getting mixed messages from the singer. I don't get simple and clean. Also, is that like the only Kingdom Hearts song that's like completely different between English and Japanese? I don't know. I think like the Japanese lyrics are like completely talking about completely different things. Okay. Slowing down with X when shooting planes that are coming towards you is a valid option. Oh, good. Well, you can slow Thank you, down. Antonio. I didn't know you could even slow make this plane slow down. Like, I, I learn new things about these games like every year. Mm. Like, was that like is that even is that trick even in the manual? I don't know. I might still. I think I still have. I think I still have the manual for this version. I can try. Remember when video game manuals had color? Remember video game manuals? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on the platinum. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised that got that uh, was a platinum. Oh uh, yeah. Um. 
Yeah, like ignoring the elephant of PlayStation characters that would break the internet. Yeah. Any yeah. single one of them would. Yeah, we're we're down to, at least from the current feed, we're down to just a handful of. Oh my gosh, these are the biggest, biggest things ever. Yeah. And, you know what? That's okay. Yeah. Like I'm fine with next smash. It won't. This won't happen, but. I'm fine with next match just getting up being a little more humble. <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like... Yeah, again, the, the a lot of the big... The super big guys people wanted are, like, in the game now. So, uh... Like... I don't know, get... Oh, good. I need to be careful, because there is a death route here. I say as I do stuff like that. <laughs> um... I don't know, I... I don't want to say like it's time for small, like small, like smaller stuff to get in, but um, I don't know. Uh, like I, a lot of the big stuff um, is in now, so I feel like there are so only so many more big, like super big guns you can put in. Hit the box, please. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, there's like, um, yeah, yeah. Like, I enjoyed all of, for Pete's sake, I can't speak. Um, like, I enjoyed the fan service fest of Ultimate, but it, some. Some of the more esoteric picks got screwed out of a chance when they would normally have it in any other game. Yeah. That and just due to the logistics of having to bring back every veteran. But Yeah, I feel like Aw. Oh. Crash kebab. Yeah, um uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, what since you brought that up. The one thing I do know is that some of the levels in this game used to have different names. And this level used to be called Crash Kebab. <laughs> Which is amazing. Damn it. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> I could go for a kebab right now. Yeah. But no, um... Yeah, the uh, thing I, I've been s saying as well is... Oh my god, this guy. Um... Whatchamacallit, um... Yeah, since they had to bring everyone back, I feel like they had to be very picky, picky and choosy with who they brought in as newcomers. And because of that, I, I, I just can't make this jump. Um, because of that, they had to sacrifice a lot of franchises that probably would have gotten new characters otherwise. And or just poor one after Xenoblade X fans. Yeah, or just a series that would have been given a character period that we haven't seen. I was I was when we didn't know much about Smash Ultimate. So like those brief few moments in like March between March and June. Mm. We were yeah, I was like, okay, so if the development probably started around well, probably late twenty fifteen after the Smash ballot <clears throat> excuse me. If that's when it started, then that means that Nintendo would have to pick from like their late three D S early Switch stuff. I was like, hey, when that, the last Chibi Robo came, for Pete's sake, the last Chibi Robo game came out around that time. Maybe he has a chance. Oh, man. Can you imagine the Chibi Robo? I, I guess at that point, went into uh, F Zero territory, whereas his character is like, just permanently like in Smash, but just never gets a new game. That'll be. That'll be a timeline. At least it would be a timeline with some more appearances. Yeah. Like, F Zero fans got it rough, but at least they have a. At least they got a backdoor. Oh, I'm, I can't believe I did that. Yo! That? Oh my that, god! What the oh, fudge? Is this um, game glitched? Yeah, okay, so, um. Issue 
if you literally jump off of nitros as you land on it, in the in this game specifically, it's the only game that allows you to do this, I think. Um, if you jump off nitros, um, at like the frame as as you land on it, you can jump off without getting uh, just uh, without getting like burn or whatever. It's kind of insane. That's nonsensical. I love it. <laughs> I'm so it's really precise. I I have no idea how I did that like twice in a row there. I wonder if that was. I wonder if it inspired like some of the mass power ups in Crash Four. Well, I mean, the last row. If you're talking about the ones in the air, um, do you, uh, too high up. Yeah, they're, they're way too high up to make it work. <sighs> Um, yeah, like, I, I, I do kind of wonder what, like, the alternate timeline smash for Switch is, where they aren't being a dream match game. Mm. And have to just maybe give it, like, j j j repeats, like, the usual, like, 15-plus newcomers. Yeah. At launch, that's what I need to say. Yeah, because it's funny, because, um... If you count DLC, it's uh, Ultimate has the most newcomers in the series, I think. Um, it does. It's every Smash sequel tops itself. Which is funny because, uh, yeah, it's uh, it does help bring everyone back. And uh, like, I mean, I guess it's also kind of cheating because it is counting DLC, but still. That being said, I I don't know what they're gonna do with the next game because like I don't really want to like it's not gonna like, like after Ultimate it's not really gonna feel the same if they end up doing DLC for veterans again like I I don't know how I'd feel about that. Smash fans are about to learn the horrible pain of every other fighting game franchise fandom. Yeah. <laughs> like they. Don't... Arc System Works doesn't care if the, if so and so was in the last Guilty Gear. They they remade the assets. They got DLC to sell. Yeah. Like, gosh, like it is painful for other franchises sometimes. Oh yeah. Though I have um, been kind of just compiling numbers, and yeah, Smash has just better roster retention than pretty much any other fighting game franchise. No! What happened to my double jump? Come on. Ugh. Oof. Like... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, Smash has the highest amount of, excluding like, you know, exclusive licensed games, like, you know, any Dragon Ball game fighter. But yeah. Excluding that stuff, I think Smash has the highest amount of, like, first game perfect attendees. Because, mm. you know, they got 12 of them, and they've never been cut. Yeah. And apparently they have the highest amount of second game perfect attendees. Yeah. Like, this isn't like... This isn't like most other fighting game franchises where they will maybe have like a handful of mainstays and kind of be... <laughs> Kind of just be very selective on who who else from the who else from the sequels gets to stay. Smash just seems that all. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at you getting massacred, but yeah, I'm just trying to <clears throat> like, uh, I'm just trying to damage boost at this point. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, Smash Bros. just has exceptionally good roster retention relative to its contemporaries. Yeah. Oops. Like... I mean, okay, well. we're probably... Go we're gonna finish after we're done with this, so it probably won't be on... I probably won't be streaming for very much longer, but thanks for sticking around. One hour later. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Thank you, Antonio, for 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 your time. So, 
Yeah, Smash just... It's always had, like, better... Better retention of characters than most other fighting game franchises, because... Yeah. Yeah, Sakurai's just, just finicky like that, and Nintendo knows the value of their characters. Yeah. And they know, like... They, they treat, like, the uh, guest characters as, like, this, like, super special, like, big deal, which it should be, because, like, you know, guest characters. It's supposed to be, like, a special event. They don't really, no, they treat them, honestly, about as normal as they treat everyone else. That's, oh, yeah, I think that's but... the thing, like, they're not just, what's the word? I'm trying to think of the best example, like... This isn't going to Dinosaur from, in Tekken 3. <laughs> <laughs> Who has, like, no home stage, no canonical p importance to this, uh, to that game. Like, mm. yes, their yes, guest yeah. characters in Smash are effectively treated like Nintendo franchises. They get pretty much everything that licensing yeah. will allow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's why it feels so bad when they get cut. <laughs> yeah, that's what, like, I do not like envy Sakurai and the Smash team for when they have to think about that stuff because like there's no way again it, unless it's a port there's no way they're gonna they're gonna be able to make uh, the roster the same size again but unless you like do like double the team or something insane like that um, like there's no way let's go see um I was gonna say. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Like, the, the guests, like, obviously, they get a certain level of prestige attached to them, but. Like, Smash mostly just kind of treats them like another franchise from Nintendo. They're. I guess, yes. Yeah. And Smash might be, like, the only fighting game franchise where people expect the guests to return. Yeah. Like, they're not one time things, they're, they're just part of the family. I think that there is something special about that, yeah. Like, Square Enix is allegedly a pain in the ass to work with, but people love their characters in Smash. Yeah, it's like, there's a um, specific, like, honor, I guess, to have your character in Smash. Oops. <clears throat> Yeah. So, let's see. Oh, God. What was I saying? characters are treated like one of the family and that's <clears throat> partially I think that's partially why they're as popular as they are compared to other fighting game franchises guest characters yeah like oh oh dear <sighs> so like the conventional wisdom for any for most fighting game franchises is that you like guest characters are one time things. Like basically yeah. like Colonel said to Snake in Brawl. Yeah. But I guess Smash is different. And yeah, most fighting game franchises, even in this day and age of DLC, don't generally sell guest characters twice. Yeah. Unless you're dead or alive. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, messed that up. <clears throat> I will try this. This is probably not gonna go well, but So yeah, Smash has that dubious honor of having to be the franchise that people expect to just retain water at all times. Oh my god. I almost had it. Which means that they have to go through licensing with X, Y, and Z companies every time. Yeah. To retain the yeah. characters. Like I could absolutely see. 
I could somehow see every character from Ultimate coming back, and then somehow, like, Cloud, Sephiroth, Hero, and maybe Sora are left on the cutting room floor just because Square Enix wants to sell them for DLC again. <laughs> oh, god, yeah. Like, that's, that's a very cynical take, but... <clears throat> Yeah, I honestly, I don't, the, in terms of third parties, um, I don't see Square, Square's characters coming back. I, I'd love to be proven wrong, but I, I just, I don't, I just don't see it. Like, I don't know. I can see it because A, they've already done it before with oh, Cloud yeah. and Ultimate. Right. And, uh, what was I going to say? <clears throat> And yeah, I'm sure those Cloud was apparently the most popular character of Smash 3S and Wii U. Really? No. One of the most, and definitely one of the most popular characters in Ultimate. Right. People love Cloud. Yeah, that is true. Like, and Square Enix and Nintendo have to know this. Like, there's like obvious immediate monetary value just keeping Cloud in the base game. Right. And. I don't know, like, like, there's nothing stopping Square Enix from just getting a character for DLC. Yeah. I think like, if we're gonna have another Square character, I think at this point it'll probably end up being like Chrono or whatever. Oh, good. I assume I got all the boxes there. Chrono is apparently a licensing nightmare, but. He's got, he has nostalgic popularity, um... Yeah, I mean, I don't... Uh, what Square characters are left? Well, they could actually have a Final Fantasy character that isn't from Seven, Or they could just yeah, add Tifa. Oh yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind Tifa, but I feel like at this point... Another F Final Fantasy game kind of needs to be represented. Well, not needs to, but I, I feel like that would be better. I'm sure it would be, but... I think Square knows where mo the money is. Thank god you can do that, by the way, because otherwise I would have been screwed. I thought you couldn't do it. Yeah, you can You can just barely bazooka those boxes. It, a very nice one. I, I doubt, I honestly doubt it was intentional, but hey, it works. Um, yeah, another Final Fantasy character would just... In ob 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 objectively sell gangbusters. Yeah. Like, people grumble about 13, but lightning would move units. Yeah, I can see that happening. And also, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind lightning. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> wall would move units. I always forget how the, this stage has, like, two checkpoints in it. Let's see. Oh yeah, like someone from like 14 would move units. Oh yeah, definitely. Like Square Enix holds a lot of leverage and they know it, that's why they're assholes. Yeah. <laughs> um Like even their trailers and this goes for sword despite not being owned by them, like the trailers just hit different. Yeah, I can definitely agree to that. Like, there's just, there's a, there's a weight to their trailers. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I suspect what, I suspect, uh, Sora, Sora also gets the benefit of being the last character added. So, the, it has, you can just feel the sense of finality in the trailer. Yeah. Especially with the final shot with Sora and uh, Mario, like, shaking hands. Like, that's sad, like, just... Imagine going back in time just like kind of three years ago when it's like the final trailer for this new Smash game is going to be Mario and X newcomer shaking hands with all the other characters. Like you'd be laughed out of the room for fan fiction. Smash Ultimate feels like a fan fiction to come to life at this point. Yeah. That's why it's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's kinda of crazy. Um, yeah, people would just laugh you out of the room, thinking you're being overly nerdy. Yeah. 
It's not gonna end with Mario and Sora shaking hands, you nerd. Oh my god. How naive we... How naive we were a few years ago. Yeah, that's honestly why I'm kind of just like, don't be a naysayer, just... Anything can happen. Just... Well, not anything, but like... Nearly anything can happen at this point. Like, if they can work with Disney, then they can work with a lot of people. Yeah. Like... Because I think that Nintendo realizes what's, what Smash can do. And uh, they're just delving in, like, ju they're just embracing it now. Yeah, oh, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, I guess picks from Square Enix, so, um, yeah. They could literally have a pass full of Final Fantasy characters and make a ton of money. Yeah. <gasps> Chrono would be popular for a lot of people. To be from near, like that would just sell so much money, and oh, yeah. that terrifies me. And yeah, they own Ido, so Lara Croft is the obvious answer. I can see, I can see Lara being a character eventually. Oh, good. Like, just. Just add one more PlayStation character for this Nintendo game, please. Yeah. All the like, characters... When are we gonna make... When are the PlayStation All-Stars 2 jokes gonna end? Yeah, right? Um, I was gonna say, like... It's funny how... You have all these, like... Characters that are considered, like, PlayStation... And, uh, they're not... They didn't appear in... PlayStation All-Stars, and instead they appeared in, like, the Nintendo fighting game. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Very nice one to add up another Aku Aku crate. Yeah. Nice. The, the game was an elaborate hazing ritual on Superbot. You can't mm. prove- you cannot tell me otherwise. I tend to forget PlayStation All-Stars was even a game that existed. Like that's that was such a weird game. Parappa, excuse me, Parappa was fun to play as. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, All St All Stars was a a f fun, like it's it's a fun enough game to mess around in for a little while, but it's a I don't know. It's it's a weird one. I'm not really sure how to feel about it. It has ideas I like, but it's just when it all comes down to it, it's just. Not as fun to play. No, I don't think Steve Robot meant it to be a flat out smash killer. They just wanted nah. so bad really. I I find yeah, I find the, the phrase smash killer kinda silly in general because I, I know a lot of people were kinda calling the Nick All Stars game that. Uh like oh, this is gonna kill Smash or whatever and I like, that's not gonna happen. There's no like Smash is just way too big for that. I'll just be happy if it gets a sequel with you know voice acting. Yeah. Like, but I'd, I'd like to have more platform games like be successful and just kind of widen the market. That would be nice, sure. Like it's <clears throat> honestly it's good for the rival games and it's good for Smash too. Yeah. Competition is always good. Like, it makes people, it makes the devs want to like better themselves so they can beat the competition, and in turn, we consumers get better, like better games in the process. So, Almost done with the game. God, it's got... Th this run has gone on for way too long. Oh my god. Like, five hours is abysmal. I honestly- I thought it was gonna be like... Three, four hours maybe, not five, good lord. 
This last room just feels like the devs giving you a mulligan. Yeah. Like, I, think, I feel like they did that for Pete's sake. Like, that's just target practice for your bazooka. Yeah. I feel like they could have done a bit more of that last section. I think I'm just gonna take it as catharsis for the player. Probably. Like this section. Oh yeah. Like this is just fun. Oh my. So yeah, Square Enix has like a much like Capcom has a nigh endless supply of characters they can give, which is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm curious about speculation for the next game in general. Like, we're not... <laughs> like... I don't know, like, I'm not sure what the mission statement of the, whatever, whatever the next game's base roster will be. Yeah, I, it'll be... It depends on, like, what the goal is for the next game. Like, I... Like, just just kind of by process, by process of elimination, but... Actually, wait. I guess just due to pricing and pragmatism, they'll probably have the pendulum swing back to first party stuff Maybe, for a base yeah. roster. I feel like a lot, of a lot of franchises that haven't had a character in a while will probably get one. Uh, mainly Zelda and Kirby, I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Like those characters, the, the characters, those franchises haven't had a character since like Brawl, and I say that loosely with Zelda because Toon Link is was always meant to be a replacement for Young Young Link. So I forgot about that crocodile, gator, I don't know, reptile. Yeah. Rough. Um. Oh, good. Oh, right, I forgot I had to go back to Boneyard. <clears throat> what was I going to say? You've done all the secret levels, right? Um, yes. Well, besides um, Rings of Power. That's the, that's the only one left. Thankfully, in this version, I can go into the Cortex fight and immediately leave. <laughs> what was I going to say? Square Enix, Capcom, ah yes, um, I'd like to just point out that Cortex uses like three different models in, three different in-game models for this game. Yeah. Like, uh, crack, crack, crack. ah yes, I, the pendulum will probably shift back to the first party, even if maybe not to the same level it is it used to be, but... It's not going to be like eight guest characters in a row like we had for the Fighters Passes. Nah, nah. I, I feel like I feel like the Fighters Passes is a, a special case since it's DLC. Um, I feel like that because of that, it's just it just ended up being that way. Yeah, so I don't want to hear people grumbling about friggin' Captain Toad not being quote unquote hype enough for yeah. you. This is this has always been a Nintendo fighting game first and foremost. Yeah, oh, and considering Pokemon hasn't got anything since Incineroar, that I think they're they're due. Yeah. I mean we've always had like at least one new Pokemon character. Yeah, I generally look forward to it. It's one of the few consistent ways to get a new character in this game because yeah. the year of release and the year of design document finalization are never pretty much never aligned. <laughs> I mean, I'll say this, I, I'm fine with, yeah, I'm fine with a Pokemon character being, like, in the base roster for the next game, next game, um, I would've, I only would've been upset if they added, like, a Pokemon in, like, Wonder Lot, mainly for, like, the last in the Fires Passes, like, that would've made me kinda eh, but adding them as, like, base, I, I'd be fine with. <coughs>
or like uh, if, if they if they were going to do Pokemon as a DLC, uh, I'd be fine with a min min situation where like the 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 first or one of the first ones to be included. Like I'd be fi I'd be fine with that. Like I don't really want Pokemon to be like the last character. That wouldn't really feel right. Also, I think I might have done an oopsie here. I think I completely forgot about the... I think I completely forgot about Tomb Time. Because I still need to... I still need to get the gems there. Oops. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm, Yeah, I'm, I'm... Like, Ultimate's roster is good, but it's missing some... <laughs> It does feel like a bit outdated on the first party side. Yeah, I can see that. Like, like ideally, we get like some happy medium between like Brawl and Smash Wii's character selection philosophies. Yeah. I have no you're idea. So Wait, what? Sorry, what were you saying? No, I was gonna say I have no idea if I'm gonna make this in time. So yeah, I, don't know, I guess next Smash game, I guess we're just kind of like to follow up on what Brawl and Smash for 3DS and Wii U did, just kind of just do some work in bolstering some of the IPs that needed it. Yeah. And give some actual IPs that haven't gotten anything yet some stuff because. Ultimate only introduced two new, only gave characters to two wholly new IPs from Nintendo, and they were like the two most obvious ones to give mm -hmm. to get stuff. Like, at this point, Advanced Wars is now on the table again, so. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was true. Oh my god. Damn it, I was so close. That was literally the end. <clears throat> and, yeah, I, Brawl did not add. Wait, what? Brawl had a... Hmm. Brawl came at the right plate, came at the right time, because... It was able to introduce a fair deal of new Nintendo IPs, like, not many, but at least a few. Mm. And also did a pretty, I'd say, a pretty good job of just bolstering the pre-existing IPs. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Even with four new Pokemon added, they still had room for other franchises. Yeah. And uh, the Zelda characters, even though they basically just got another... Uh, semi clone. Um, they also had like the benefit of having complete redesigns, so there's also that. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I do wish they had redesigned the Zelda cast and for, for for the game after games after it would have given them a bit more visual identity from Brawl. Yeah. I like I like Smash Bros. being a snapshot of Nintendo. Yeah. Well, I'm generally not too worried about characters being quote unquote dated because we have Sheik in this game. Yeah. <laughs> oh come on. Yeah, we haven't seen in the Zelda game since Twilight Princess, I think. Mainline Zelda game, I mean. Mm. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm... oh, what the heck happened there? That was funky. It's like, yeah, that was odd. Um. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Brawl, I think, yeah, Brawl had just kind of benefited of having the biggest 
<clears throat> batch of newcomers without having to use DLC. Yeah, that is true. And by default, that means it has the most Nintendo characters, without the most Nintendo newcomers added, period, in any Smash game. It makes you wonder, like, what characters would have been added if uh, Brawl had DLC? Uh, maybe Sakurai would have gotten... The... <laughs> maybe Sakurai would have tried to... Maybe he would have changed his mind on, like, the Miis and Pac-Man early. Yeah, I can see that happening. Uh, trying to think of what Nintendo is doing, like, circa 2008. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe Captain Syrup gets a chance. That would be interesting. Like, this is, like, Wii DS era Nintendo, like, that would be... You get some... You get some odd picks. Yeah. And yeah, like Ashley from Trace Memory or something. <laughs> They'd probably add, excuse me, like Fire Emblem's DS remake was, I think, on the horizon at the time. Maybe we've gotten like Shida. Yeah. Is that how you pronounce her name? I have no idea. Marv's fiance. Yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of dependent just on how much, how long Brawl's DLC cycle would last. Yeah. That is the question, isn't it? Actually, yeah, they would probably just slap in some veterans. Oh. That's not even fast enough to get a sapphire. Okay. Dang. Yeah, they were. They might have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, they might have just um, tossed in some of the Forbidden Seven if they could finish work on them. Oh yeah, for the Forbidden Seven. I feel yeah, I feel that like DLC would have been that if anything. Yeah, Phantom Hourglass was pretty fresh at the time, so Toon Zelda would be timely. Yeah. I'm not sure if the ready is. Excuse me, I'm not sure if the world is ready for Toon Sheik though. Yeah. Especially since that's not, like, even a thing in canon. <sighs> Unless it actually just means, like, uh, like a Tetra character, but, uh, I don't know. I, I honestly do think Sakurai would just be crazy enough to make a, make a Toon Sheik. Yeah. I would prefer if it if if, if it was just a te tetra instead though, because I feel like that would be more unique. No. I'm trying to help you. Go on. No, no, I I just I just failed. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> I am trying to imagine like what would happen if Brawl just had to be rushed and add melee style clones to bolster out it, bolster its numbers. Yeah. Like, Toon Zelda would have probably been finished. <clears throat> like, maybe Lucario would have been an actual Mewtwo clone. Yeah. Let's see. Wolf probably would have just been cut because Wolf's a little too different from Fox and Falco. Yeah. Uh, oh god. Uh, that, that being said, uh, Wolf... If, again, if they are if there are cuts in the next game, next game, I feel like Wolf is going to be the one one of the first characters to go, and that makes me sad because I don't know if I want to have a, another game with him absent again because it just it just doesn't feel right. That's just I guess just depend on where Star Fox is as a franchise. Like, yeah, as long as Miyamoto is working at Nintendo, it will always have a future. Yeah, I suppose so. <sighs> I think of like, like just really possible cheap and easy clones for a rushed version of Brawl. Like, uh, I'm gonna assume that characters cannot be given a second clone. Well, actually, Mario has Luigi and Dr. Mario in Melee, but okay, they can be. Ugh. I don't know. Black Shadow were cloned off of Captain Falcon, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna mix Rings of Power with uh, Tomb Time here. Uh, 
other clones into clones. I don't know, maybe Daisy gets in early. Oh yeah, I can see that. Seems like the only thing holding her back in Melee was that she had only just kind of crawled out of the grave recently. Yeah. <clears throat> Man. It's, uh, speaking of uh, this day, uh, it's going to be interesting, like, what is it, ne uh, next month is going to be the start of Brawl, so uh, that's going to be, that's going to be an interesting time. Time to ruin my nostalgia for one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. Like, maybe it's better if I just don't look at it, just preserve my good memories. <laughs> Yeah, I have the most- I think I had the most memories with Brawl out of any Smash game. Like, I, I don't want to... I just... Let my childhood be preserved, because Brawl was pretty much the last time I played with my brother on a, reg on a regular. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, gosh. Like, Smash Wii was fine, but I just- I was just in a bad place in my life at that point. Yeah. I'm... I don't know, I have very mixed feelings about Smash 4. I'll have to like... I don't know, we'll see. See how how we how Smash 4 ends up going. Like, Smash... Yeah, we, uh, 3DS, um, I'm interested in like, Smash Run and whatnot. Um, I'm very worried about Smash Wii U though, like that... I don't remember... Enjoying... Well, I, I enjoyed it, but like... I remember a lot of the stuff about the 100% experience kind of just annoying me compared to the other games. I mean, that kind of worries me. Yeah, if I'm collecting spirits, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't ex To be honest with you, I, I don't expect to get to Ultimate um, until the next... Well, I don't know if I'll... I don't know. I, I feel like... I feel like the next game will probably be announced by the time we get to Ultimate. That's how long I expect it to take. Oh, good gosh. What the heck? I, I don't understand the hitbox of those enemies. I sit. I should have been fine there. What was that? Oh, come on. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, okay, other brawl, melee era clones for brawl, um, or melee styled clones for brawl. I think he missed some crates. Did I? I'm, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up having to go back, so. Uh, other clone, okay, yeah, excuse me. Honestly, maybe, maybe we get multi reps from us, excuse me. Maybe we get multi multiple reps from a third party franchise early, and I don't know. Snake was seemingly determined, chosen early, so like big boss, I think could work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh wait, I'm, I'm missing Fire Emblem. Why? Like, why would they not get more clones? <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know, I guess presume Roy is still cut for some reason. <clears throat> like, any any one-handed rapier-styled swordsman would work over Marsh. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna use a rapier, but... Uh... Oh god. Damn it. <sighs> Man. Actually, I'm trying to think of who would, like, trying to think of what was kind of recent at the time of Brawl's design document. Uh, Sacred Stones, I, like, I, I think. Mm. I'm just like, I think, what's his name? What is the dude's name? Like, Erica's brother, I think, might be able to work as a Marv clone. Mm. Yeah. Or they could just like back go backwards and use someone from like the Super Famicom era. Yeah. I don't like, know. Fancy or Marth. Yeah. Let's see here. Um cool. Okay, so we just need to do Rings of Power now. Um 
Yeah, I don't know enough about Fire Emblem to really say too much. Um, personally, I wouldn't mind seeing Lin, but at the same time, I know um, that would kind of annoy people at the same time because, you know, another sword character <laughs> in for the Fire Emblem series, which I know people want to see more different representation than that for the series. I was I was listening to you. I was like, wait, you want Lin as a Marth clone in Brawl? <laughs> it's controversial, but if you ruin her, it could work. <laughs> no, I don't. Not necessarily a Marth clone. Just that I I wouldn't mind seeing Lin in the game, like period. Well, I imagine like um whatever the was it the the Roy and the what's his father's name L I Wood. Yeah. That duology of games will probably be remade sooner, rather sooner, sooner than later. So, yeah. So I, I could not that remakes ever really had much of a basis on characters' chances, but nah. Like Lynn would probably be in a better spot than she's been in in like years. God, I hate uh, off topic. I guess I, I just I hate how um, these. The controls of these stages in this version require me to do like weird gymnastics with my hand to make it like work. Yeah, I'm getting hand cramps just looking at this. It's not great. I remember early in Ultimate Speculation, like we were, people were kind of saying, you know, Lin's been having a mild resurgence in Fire Emblem ensemble games. Like, because, yeah, 2017 was kind of her year, like, because of, like, Heroes and Warriors. Mm. Like, she would have, what, wouldn't she win a, she'd won, like, an official popularity contest, I think. Mm. I was like, hey, maybe she can be put in Smash, and then she's, like, one of the first assist trophies shown off at the E3 presentation. And I couldn't even be an ass to laugh at that because while well, Ouija got shown right after. <laughs> but, yeah. I deserve every bad thing that happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> like that was a like honestly those two back to back was a like, life comes at you fast moment. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think Starfy hurt me the most. And that's like that's my personal that's my personal tragedy right there for assist trophies. Mm. Oh, it, it, seeing uh, Shadow and uh, Isaac as assist trophies again might hurt a lot. Espe especially Shadow for me specifically. Okay, did I get did I get gold? Come on. Ah, oh, damn it! That sucks. Lewis was not happy about the about about Shadows just his trophy returning. Oh no, I wasn't happy either. Now I have to go to Cortex again and then leave. It's a waste of time. <laughs> it's fine, we're almost done. I'm going to bed right after this for the record. It's like 5 in the morning here, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I did- When I did this today, I wasn't expecting this to be- I, I wasn't expecting this to take all night. I gotta be honest. I um, thought- I thought- I thought I was gonna be done with this like two hours ago. <gasps> something, something. What was it that ultimate I was thinking about? What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Lynn. So, you yeah, know, let's put her in as a Marv clone in Brawl. <laughs> yeah. Everyone wants. Yeah, right. <sighs> um, I don't know, maybe Black Knight off of Ike could maybe work. Yeah, I can see that working. Like, this is... Like, like we give Melee clones, Melee's clones a lot of grief, but honestly they were... 
like in terms of body type, they were maybe a little more creative than some of the Echo Fighters we got down the line. Mm. Like, like I don't think I'm not sure if the devs would like take a ton of time making a shorter Link, or rather a shorter a shorter clone about a pre-established character. Yeah, and uh, the uh, even then, uh, just on the fundamental level, like the the clones do function fairly differently overall so it's not like they're like that similar in general like the, the the moves and like the animations are pretty much the same a lot of the time but a lot of the functions of the moves tend to be radically different from what they're being copied from so yeah <laughs> Cool, I got a platinum. Yeah. Nice. That's what happens when you don't have to worry about uh, the boxes. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, many of those clones were actually they were actually pretty decent, all things considered. Yeah. Honest. I mean, honestly, the um, like half the clones are like some of my favorite characters to play as in melee. So take that for what you will. Well, that's. I think that's the. I think. <laughs> I think it kind of goes back to that, I guess, the cut discussion and the guest fighters stuff. Like, it's the beauty of a crossover game. Like, yeah. I don't think people care all that much. Congratulations. I don't think people care too much that. I'm trying to think of an example that people will actually really dispute. Um, Alright, final boss time. I don't think people care too much that. What? No, I say final boss time. This is, the, this is just the last stretch now. I don't even think that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think people care too much Falco is just derivative of Fox, like, people just like Falco. Yeah, no, like I, his... I, I never really, honestly, I never really cared that much, like, Falco is still one of my favorite characters to play as in that game. Like, they like his, they like his personality, his animations, they just like his specific, specific flavor of Fox's movesets. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, props for Brawl, though, for making uh, characters like Falco more like their own characters now, because I know, like, people even now still say like Falcon and Wolf are like clones of Fox and I mean to a degree they'll always kind of have some of Fox's DNA built into them but they feel at this point especially now like they feel like their own characters and uh, it's kind of crazy how we you went from melee where like Falco was literally literally just had all of Fox's animations were different properties to like pretty much the entire moveset's different now. So yeah. gives me hope for Daisy. Oh yeah, that's her. Like veterans can change. Like some more than others as, as we've seen, but yeah. Yeah, I think just like technically Jigglypuff is the clone fighter with the most deviation over time. Get into book, please. <laughs> Alright, cool. Running shoes we're never gonna use. And uh yeah, that's the end of the game. Oh good lord, that took way too long. So yeah, right. I I don't think I have any interest in doing another run of this because um a few factors. One, this was this took way too long, as you can see from the time. Um, two, uh, this was just way more challenging, and th this was way more difficult than I was expecting, and also a lot more draining. Um, th there's just so many more factors I need to keep in mind compared to just compared to when I was running Crash Two, um, and I, I don't know if I, I don't really see myself wanting to do this again. Um, but it was a good experiment, but I think, I, I was saying this earlier, um, but I honestly prefer just playing this game casually. I find that more fun and it's a lot less stressful, because I genuinely think that this was, <laughs> this was a really uh, bad speedrun. Like, I was dying everywhere, making so many mistakes, spending like up to 30 minutes in stages and it, it it was just a mess i i don't see myself wanting to do this again which is a shame because this is still my favorite crash game and i still enjoy like i still enjoy it a lot but speed running it is probably speed running this is not really my cup of tea unfortunately 
and just that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. How long did the Insane Trilogy version take you again? I don't know, but it was way more comfortable than this, I can tell you that much. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, that's all I have to say on that. I was supposed to like, eat dinner hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad. I thank you all for showing up at our Smash discussion in this non-Smash game. <laughs> which just means I will have nothing to talk about when we play Brawl. Oh, we're gonna... How long do you... Let, let's have some fun here. Um, how long do you expect Brawl to go on for? How slow are Brawl's physics again? Wait, what? How slow are Brawl's physics again? Oh, God. Like, if you can quantify that into, like, months and years, then I guess you have your answer. Oh, God. I'll say... <clears throat> I'm going to guess two years. <laughs> oh, gosh. Seriously, like, kidnap someone so you can deal with the events? Yeah, I'll... I'll I mean, I, I can probably... I can probably uh, get Joey over or something for the co-op events. Because I, I, I would like to show those off. Find some meat shield to help you in subspace. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we shall see. Um, the, the thing that terrifies me is that um, six years, which, uh, I mean, I have no, like, base to, I, I have nothing to back this up with, but um, my gut is telling me that, that, like, Smash 6 or whatever will probably happen uh, in, like, five to six years from now. But that terrifies me, because I'd be, like, 30 by then. What did you miss? We finished the game. <laughs> We're literally about to end the stream. Um, but yeah, we, we did it. 105%. Everything. We'll finish playing Brawl before we finish that Force Unleashed playthrough. Let's play commentary. I'm tired. Oh, God. If that happens, like, we lost our priorities. We never had them to begin with. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, that, that it's good you mentioned that, though, because now that I'm, like, pretty much free whenever for a while, um, we really should start seeing about doing more things. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to keep this stream going because I really need to just go to bed. Can you tell me to be... Oh, oh, right, I, I, yeah, I can look at that quickly, before I go. <sighs> I, f yeah, I, this, this looks familiar, I, I think I've seen this before. Um, okay, but yeah, um, I'm, yeah, I'm just, I don't want to prolong this, because again, I need to just go to bed now, but, uh, thanks for sticking around for this really garbage speedrun, <laughs> um, future, look at the channel, oh, is that, oh, it was you, nice, okay, that's cool, um, what should we call it? Yeah, uh, more streams planned in the future. Uh, we Scrappy wants to at least to attempt arena in the superstar. I think. Um, I ha reason. yeah. Um, I have to do DKC three with Jason. Um, yeah. I... Wait, what? It's like five o'clock and Harry's time. He's got to bed. Yeah, yeah. It's really late. Um. What you call it? Uh, Lego Stars: The Clone Wars uh, streams will happen soon as well, and yeah, uh, th those are the main things happening, like right now. 
Um, it's 6 a.m. Oh, you, you need to go to bed. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Um, so I'll just leave it, leave it at that. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Good night.